Hello, people. Hello, people. Give me a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta switch. Where the thing at? There the thing is. Oh, it's actually working now. It just shortens everybody's name. Okay. Well, at least it's, at least it's working. That's good. All right. Um, I may actually adjust that. Because it's, it's big. Actually, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> anyway. Hi, people. Uh, we're back at it again with this shit. <laughs> um, finally, this will be the end of Yonho's route. I think. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Because let me see something. Because ideally, I'm hoping this takes me like three hours, you know, because, uh, man, I have some of the weirdest things open in my, in my phone right now. I had a thing about how to boil hard egg, uh, hard boil eggs. <laughs> wow. I just really misplaced my words. Anyway, um, I'm looking for the walkthrough. Where could it be? <laughs> Walk through. Why are you this far in my phone? Please come here. Okay, there you are. All right. So yeah. So today we're finishing the Yonho route for good. I think because I think yeah. So we should be on the festival part. There's a card game I have to. Oh my god, this game. Why? Why is there a card game I have to play? Oh my god, it's a matching game. What the hell? What the fuck? All right. All right. I really wish this game had music. I mean, it does. I just don't have it on because copyright. <laughs> I don't know why they copyright claimed the music. I guess they were just like, we don't want them to use our music for anything. And I understand that. Like, that's fair. But hear me out. I just want to stream this game. I just want to enjoy it. Jeez. I mean, I could just still play the game as is, but with music. But it, I would never be able to upload it to YouTube. So we just have to deal with awkward silence for a little bit. Anyway, let's let's jump into it. Let's continue with uh, the festival chapter. Okay. Yeah. All right, festival. Festival. All right. If you're wondering where we left off, I don't know either. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because uh, that was like a week or two ago, right? Was that last week? Man, I don't know what I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Boy, do I not know what day it is. Anyway, um, so sheesh. Uh, I think the last thing we did was that we had to have we had to talk with like Yanho, and we had to tell him that like we don't see him as like family, and then he got upset because he's like, I want to be your family or something, and now here we are. I guess is is where we are, I think. Boy, do I not know. <laughs> that That's the last thing I remember. I remember us having a talk with him and being like, yeah, you left me to go be with your family. And I was, just, and he was upset because he's a little bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but no, he, he was very upset about this because he was like, I want to, I want to mean something to you. And I'm like, that's fair. But you don't have to do things for, like, love and such. I think that's what happened last chapter. Or last time. Because boy do I not remember. And honestly, that was over a week ago. So everything has left my freaking chrome dome at this point. But here we are. Anyway, 
All right. Um, blah, blah, blah. So our new ambitious proje project. I present the Yanho type. Here, how is it? Isn't his face cute and lovely? Okay. So I'm guessing this is like either the person selling it to somebody or... Oh. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. So it seems like for Lance, we gave Lance a personality, right? We, we gave him a personality because that was the thing that he was lacking. So we had to shape his personality by giving him things to like and so on and so forth, right? So for Yanaho, he needs charm? Give it the charms you wish to see in this doll, an innocent puppy image, or a food-loving, playful look. What does that even mean? Will be perfect for this doll. So it seems to me that he's the charming one. So like his whole thing is that he is charming to be around or to experience? <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't think that makes sense. I don't think that makes sense at all. I don't know. Weird. But I'm very intrigued because I'm very confused. But that's usual. Alright. So everything is your the owner's choice. Have him be whatever you want. So he can be your angle or your devil. Okay. That makes sense. Is that why he's kind of like a yandere? When you don't love him, it's because like he was abused as a doll and so therefore he's now extremely clingy and wants to be loved i don't know anyway we're, we're gonna move on so i can actually understand uh-huh 주인님을 만나 개봉되는 날, 제 가슴은 너무 너무 두근거렸어요. Okay. 예쁜 슬기, 오늘부터는 네가 여기 앉는 거야. 자, 여기 가장 높은 곳에 앉아 있어. 그래야 나랑 눈이 마주칠 수 있지. I want to say this is a child, but I also don't know. I can't tell. I don't know if it's a baby or a, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. So she's, yeah, she's absolutely abusing this man. Hmm. Who is Kane? We don't know Kane, right? I'm going to assume we don't know Kane. She does seem very fickle. Kind of like an asshole, but you know, I don't know if I, I don't know if we can call a child. A, well, can you call a child an asshole? I feel like it's justified if, if the child is an asshole, right? I feel like it's okay. My bad, I'm like all over the map. Um, but okay. <sighs> Yeah, this child was definitely spoiled and also not okay in the slightest. Hmm. Oh, so he is the asshole. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know if she's like a teenager or a child. Like, it sounds like she's a child. Like, seven, probably. Okay. 
Oh, so that's how we ended up with Yanho. It's because she was like, oh yeah, I want to sell one of these dolls. I don't need this one anymore. And so she decided to get rid of him. Wow, that's so fucked. <laughs> it's bad enough that you actually abuse this doll. But then what's worse is then on top of that, then like you sold him off to buy yourself a dress. What the fuck? Anyway. All right, we're just going to move on. Also, oh yeah, we did have a fall festival the other time too. I don't know why I'm forgetting how the storyline goes every time. The fall festival was right in front of us. <laughs> every time I forget about what this game is like. So everyone was busy and walking on clouds. I gotta reopen my eyes because what? What do you mean they were walking on f what? What? Everyone seemed to be excited for it. They're walking on clouds. <laughs> what a mood. So why are you so angry? What's up? She kicked the classroom door open and punched the podium. <laughs> Is she fighting invisible enemies? I felt like the teacher would run towards us and accuse her of vandalism. I mean, it didn't break anything, so. As a friend, I should stop her now. Zoe, calm down. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Shinbi, what's up with Zoe? Oh, because of the festival? Okay. Ah, uh, I mean, you are class president. <laughs> Even the dust particles piss me off. <laughs> the school government must be tougher than I thought. It's fair. Okay. It was tomorrow. Well, then, th th there it is. <laughs> okay. The festival everyone anticipated was right in front of us. Due to that, several class representatives and members of the school council have been showing weird symptoms from overworking. One of the class presidents tried to jump out of the window saying he wanted freedom. My God. <laughs> I'm glad the freshman class classes are on the first floor. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I thought we were on the second floor for some reason. Actually, wait. There's, well, wait, no. You know what? I can't judge anything because we're next to the trees, but it's not like the bottom part of the tree. It's like the middle part. Weird. All right. Shinbi, are you okay? You're vice president. It's because it's not all on, her, on, all on her. Huh? But so he's that busy. Ah, I see. She's got the lackeys. <laughs> I thought she didn't care about all those fans. I mean, she doesn't in the, until the until now. <laughs> now, now they actually like are important. I see now that she can be pretty manipulative when she wants to be. I mean, I want to say is it really manipulation, but it kind of is. Anyways, Shinbi was preparing for the festival in her own way. The door opened and Yanho came in. Oh, Yanho, you just got here? Yes. Today, I'm going <laughs> 네, 처음에는 뭐가 뭔지 하나도 몰랐는데 미스터리 연구부원들께서 친절하게 가르쳐 주셨어요. 
덕분에 이제 제법 볼줄 알게 되었어요. 이대로라면 내일도 큰 문제 없을 것 같아요. That's good to know. That's good news. Good luck. <웃음> 네, 감사합니다. 연우야, 내일 우리가 제일 먼저 그쪽으로 갈게. 그래, 그런데 너 망토입은 모습 사진으로 남기고 싶은데 찍어도 돼? 네, 물론이죠. 모두 와주세요. 기다리고 있을게요. 연호가 봐주는 점이라면 아무리 결과가 좋지 않아도 행복하게 <웃음> 받아들일 수 있을 것 같아. <웃음> okay. The girls look forward to tomorrow with no with ecstatic looks. Okay. After that day, Yanho turned back to the way he was. Oh, okay. He was the warm and sweet boy again. Under the silent night sky, Yanho cried in my arms for a long time. Oh yeah, that's what happened. And when we went back home, Tay was waiting for us in the living room. Man, Tay is just always kind of there. What, 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 why did that echo like that for a minute? Tay didn't say anything and just stroked his hair. How does Tay, I guess Tay must have known, but whatever. Maybe Tay knew about everything. See, that's what I'm saying, like, that's weird. That's weird. That's what I thought when I saw the quiet smile. I think what happened that day tore down his invisible wall. Makes sense. I hope Yanho stays like this. That's what I always think when I see Yanho. Where you want to go to, Yanho? Huh? Oops, I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying. What was he talking about? Sure, buddy. Yeah, I have time. Why? Is it another secret? Oh. It's the first time since the amusement park that he asked me to go somewhere. I felt happy. Okay. Help? Hmm? What? Is this a homeless man? What? What? <laughs> An old man living at a telephone pole. What? What is he talking about? You know, honestly, that's like the most normal sentence this game has given me today. Or just ever, honestly. And that old man helping him. Old man? He's not... Then maybe... I remember Dion has talent. Is it a, is it a cat? Is that old man... Then he's not a part of this world, right? Oh, is he a ghost? I thought it was the cats, initially. <laughs> I looked scared towards Yanho and he smiled. That's not wow, reassuring. Why oh, we need to go somewhere far, far young, Yanho? I can't talk. Yeah, the weather's really perfect. Unlike the bright sunlight, my face was stiff. Why? Why? I'm going to go meet a ghost today. <laughs> ah, yeah, I understand now. I felt my hands were sweating. I felt like my hands were sweating. I guess so. Huh? It's like, what? Like, what? <laughs> Right. He wants to go to the beach like right now? Also, wait, I haven't checked my diary. Uh, let me go to the previous day. Yanho changed a lot after the rain. He turned more mature, should I say. I feel like he's gathered himself. He doesn't send me heaps of texts like he used to now. I think it's a good change. Uh, okay. The festival is approaching, and so are the exams. Okay, this is the other thing. The mystery club must be seeking him out pretty desperately. Yanho reading fortunes. I'm actually excited. Will he wear a cloak or something? <laughs> I studied while rolling around on the bed. Okay, yeah, I, I think I already read this. This is the same as before. Nothing is Nothing new has happened. The beach? But it's pretty far away from here. We don't... We won't be able to get back in time for the festival. Besides, just the two of us going. 
매일 축제가 있는데 당연히 그렇게 멀리 갈 수는 없죠. Yeonho, you playing too many games today. That's what I know. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, cool, great, good. Yano came back to his usual bright self, but this was the one thing that changed. Before he was so aware of me, but now he comfortably jokes around. I feel like Yanho, who was citing his true self for me, was finally revealing himself. And he was much more honest than before. That's good. Progress. He says if he's mad, sad, or happy. He was always a lovely boy. But the way he is now is more lovely. Like the shining, beautiful light. Like the blinding light that's on my screen right now. Why? Huh? What was I just thinking? Basto. Hi, my guy. I was feeling surprised at my own thoughts when Yanho abruptly leaned over. I stumbled to see Yanho suddenly enter my view. Uh, uh, ah! Oh god. <laughs> Yanho quickly grabbed my arm. Thanks to that, I didn't fall. Good, great, good. The hand was white and soft, but it was still definitely. But it was definitely masculine. <laughs> I always thought of him. As a small, as small and weak, like the days of the week. Jesus Christ! But he's holding me with one hand. I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not gonna question that. Anyway, he's almost as small as I am, but he's, but he is a boy. All right. I couldn't take my eyes off his hands. I feel like I've discovered a new side of him. Master, 괜찮아요? 발목을 삔 거예요? Yano asked, worry, worrying as I froze at the spot. Oh no, I'm fi it's fine. I was just spacing out and my steps must have tangled. Thanks. 조심하세요. 여긴 내리막길이라 넘어지면 크게 다쳐요. I just go forward, forward, forward all the way down the hill. <laughs> okay, sorry. 자. 어? 뭐 하세요? 어서 잡으세요. 또 넘어지면 안 되잖아요. 제가 손 잡아 드릴게요. Okay. Oh. While I hesitated, Yanho just grabbed my hand. Yanho's warmth wrapped around my hand that was still cold from thinking about the ghost. <laughs> my pale face suddenly heated up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> ja, he, he, I, I didn't hear shit, he said. Y Yanho. He held onto my hand and kept walking. As we passed the shop by the shops, I saw a reflection on the window of the show windows. I felt more embarrassed to see it. The hand kept on bothering me, and I couldn't even look at Yanho's face properly. Why? Why is this suddenly bothering me? Why do I have sudden feelings that I didn't have before? What is this? I saw myself walking awkwardly like a robot on the continuing show, show windows. That's Ugh, God, I'm dying. The academy is already packed with students. If other guests come, the building might really collapse. The building's cracked as it is. <laughs> is it? Uh, Yano's laugh rang pleasantly through the streets. I felt more comfortable hearing that laugh. Good. So I asked him something I wondered from the uh, I wondered from the morning. Hey Yanho, can I ask you something? I like the happy days continuing, but I can't help but feel worried. Yanho turned to me. 네, 물론이죠. 뭔데요? Um, you're busy with the festival, so you go to the club right after classes end, and we can't eat together during lunch because of the other girls. So, seeing Yanho's go back to how he was, the girls started to surround him again. As a result, we have less time to talk to each other. And since he's also busy preparing for the festival, I can barely talk to him in the classroom. I worried if I troubled Yanho. Last time this happened, he became very dark. I was worried if he felt lonely or overworking himself, just pretending to be fine. That's fair. I looked at him with worried eyes. Yanho stared at me. She's trying to check to see if you're lonely, buddy. Yanho asked me instead. I felt bewildered by this question. I can't believe Yanho asked me that. Do I look lonely to him? 
oh no, it's not that. I just think it's okay to not always be together in front of others. I carefully told him. <laughs> really? As I asked again, Yanho smiled. Oh, again. I felt my face get red just a little, like when he, uh, yeah, like when he held my hand. He moves his soft hands and changes the way he held my hand. I like the fact that you could come this far in the game and still fuck it all up and then literally get a bad ending. How fucking dare. Like, can you believe that? It's crazy. Alright. He says he's fine. Good. Yano. Yano said he's fine and smiled again. But for some reason, I'm not convinced. He's been making that smile often these days. The smile somehow looks a bit lonely. It felt familiar. Familiar? Like, is she looking in a mirror? Is that what it is? Like, she's like, ah, yes, I was also lonely. <laughs> and it crossed my mind that might be Yanho's real face. You know, honestly, fair. I silently held on to Yanho's hand tighter. Back in the alleyways. Back in the fucking alleyways again. Oh, okay, but do you have to meet that old man? Ooh, gotta go meet an old man in the alleyway. I was suddenly creeped out and shivered. I felt the surrounding temperature drop a couple degrees. I held onto his hand tighter. It'll be fine, right? Hmm. I'll be fine. If it's a person, I mean, a ghost, who's helping on home, he must be a good ghost. Ah, Ho looked up the telephone pole and talked. And then, apparently, she screamed. I screamed without knowing. Girl, you didn't even see anything. I had goosebumps. I tried to rub my arms to calm myself, but Yanho didn't let go of my hand. Instead, he leaned closer to warm me up. <laughs> it's... it's... At the warmth and smile of Yanho gave me, I felt my fears disappear. The coldness soon disappeared too. Yanho felt pretty reliable. Good! I'm glad. <laughs> Hmm. Yanho talked towards the telephone pole. I didn't see anything in my eyes. It was the first time I saw Yanho talk with the spirits. It is scary, but it's such a cool gift. This gift, did Kobodol give it to him? Yes. Yes, they did. I felt confused since I didn't remember Kobodal mentioning, mentioning it when they released him. I mean, it's in it's in his profile, I think. Like, if I go to Yanho's... I think it does say in here. Um, he has a memory of being abandoned, so he gets lonely easily and follows the female lead a lot. He can feel radio raves and sense to talk and talk to ghosts. He seems to have fun with animals and even talks with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it says it in the bio, but I guess maybe he didn't say it for the doll. I don't know. Wow, really? Thank you. Oh, I ho. Happily thanked the telephone pole. I mean, Grandpa. That's he looked like he was talking by himself, but it was a, it was amazing that he was having a conversation with someone. Um, besides, what about the roof? Yanho said bye. I didn't hear the grandpa's response, but I think they're done talking. Did did it go well? <laughs> Seeing him smile widely, the grandpa ghost must have said yes. I was relieved to hear it. I'm glad things worked out. 
I was nervous about coming here to see ghosts, but thank God everything went well. Why, okay, I was about to say, why another white screen? The fuck? <sighs> the festival day came. Also, there's people here at the stop. Before I went to the bus station, I went to the convenience store and bought a notebook and pencil. Why? Let's see, this notebook. Hmm, it's nice. Okay. Last night I opened the diary to write in it, in it as usual, but I soon doubted my own eyes. Parts of the diary were blurred, as if someone smudged them. So this happened in Lance's route too. What? Let me see. Okay, we do have a new entry. The exams ended safely, and now the festival is right around the corner. Yanho must be busy studying his cards with the old man ghost. Yanho came to me during lunch with a pudding and a smile. I'm so thankful that he spends time with me. Yanho's happiness was my top priority, but these days I find myself just staring at him as he changes. Is it because I'm a girl too? Is it because I'm a girl? <laughs> But to Yanho, um, God, I don't know. Also, let me see something. I wanna, I wanna fact check this. I'm gonna keep going back because it'd be really cool if they actually made this a consistency with, with the diary. Because I don't think they did, and I'm sad because they didn't. Damn it, they didn't. Why didn't they do that? They could have made that. Oh, that would have been so cool. So like. Like, the fact that it says that parts of the diary were blurred out as if someone smudged them, I fucking wish that the parts of the diary was smudged so that I could go back and look at the diary and then it would be different. God, I wish that was the thing. That would have been so cool. Missed opportunity, but it's okay. It's all right. We will live. Move on on. I couldn't even read some of the smudged smudge parts. I rubbed my eyes, wondering if it was because my eyes were tired, but... They didn't disappear. Also, this always happens at the end of each route. I wonder if it's because technically these things are going to get overwritten, I guess? I don't know. The ones I wrote before are fine, but the only but only the recent ones are like this. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not the previous ones, it's the current ones. That's weird. I skimmed through my old diaries just in case, but Ones from last year were completely fine. It's only this year. I asked the boys if they ever touched my diary, but they all said no. That means that that's because it's not them. Lance actually glared at me, saying if he looked like someone who would do such a thing. Yeah, that's, that's correct. So I had to apologize to Lance for a long time. Well, I was thinking of getting a new one anyway, so I guess it's good. I put the things I just bought in my bag and headed to the station. I'm alone today because Yanho went to the academy early to prepare his booth. I look forward to what he'll be doing. Okay. Wow. There's nothing here. <laughs> there was still a lot of time left until the festival officially starts, but the playground was already packed. Man, so many people. Can't believe it. It was almost like a town festival. Oh, Grandpa, I mean, Mr. Principal. God damn it. Grandpa, what the fuck are you doing here? I was hesitating in front of the school gate when the principal approached me. Also, the principal approaches us every time for this, too, it seems. I was hesitating. I already read that. He had on a kind and comforting smile, as always. Sure, Grandpa, I mean, Mr. Principal. No, but my friend has a booth. So, I thought I'd drop by early. Ever since I lied to Grandpa about the boys... This isn't your grandfather! <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> I always feel guilty around him. I can't help but want to avoid him. So I again got ready to excuse myself. Grandpa... I mean, Mr. President... Mr. Principal... Mr. President? <laughs> That's not right either. Mr. Principal... <laughs> I'll be going then. I'll see ya. Mr. Principal? You're being a little sus, my guy. What? He said something that was different. He said something weird. What? He says, isn't it good to have more family? 
What are you, what are you talking about, buddy? What do you, what do you mean? Are you talking about the boys? Are you also in on this? Hmm. I never suspected the principal. I thought it was going to be the, the fucking nurse guy, but it may actually be the principal. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. What? I flinched while turning around. The principal continued while looking at the horizon. Something ain't right here. Some ain't right here. Something is not correct here. Also, I just realized something, and I don't think I said this before. The company that makes the dolls is called Krobadol. The name of the fucking school is Kroby Academy. Is that just a coincidence? Is it actually the name of the city or some shit? Is that what the situation is? Because I don't, I don't think they ever said what this place was called. But like, if it's not that, are these two places connected? Are the tall, are the dolls and the academy connected? This is my theory at this point. I don't know. That that seems weird as a combo. But at the same time, we've never seen any other place have the word Kroby in it other than the Academy and Krobadol, the place that makes the fuck-ass dolls that are alive, apparently. And I am getting concerned now, because what is happening? <laughs> I am so mildly concerned. Like, extremely honestly, because what is happening? It's a very, it's a very happy thing to have a precious person. Okay, so we're talking about Yanho in particular. Not only for the, the two, but it makes everyone happy around them happy as well. So he's talking about me and the boys. Okay. I was surprised and froze at the spot, but grandpa looked at me and still continued. I am so confused why we keep calling this man grandpa. I know this man and my grandfather was friends, but that does not make this man my grandfather. My grandfather's dead, I think, unless he faked his death and he became the principal. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of like insane storyline would that be? But. Also, I don't know, man. I wouldn't put it past this game at this point. Something ain't right with this man. Something ain't right. Mm -mm. So, I mean, he had me in the first... Like, in the first half, I was very confused because he was like, yeah, isn't it better to have more family? And I'm like, what are you on about? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing because, like, ideally he's thinking that we are cousins... So I guess that's why? And now we're happier because there's more of us? But then also it seems that he's implying that he knows that we have feelings for one of the boys. Oh God, this is so confusing. I don't know what to get, I don't know what to expect from this man. Also, you're saying that the grandfather would be happy. Okay. Gr grandpa? The fuck? I didn't even realize I called the principal grandpa and just stared at him. Oh, wait, 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 what? This whole time, internally, she's also been calling him Grandpa, but then externally, she called him Grandpa. Does he know about me and Yano? See, that's what I'm wondering about now. Because in Lance's route, he didn't let on that he knew. So now we're in Yano's, and it seems that he knows. Which is weird, because we ain't never seen this man. <laughs> we haven't seen this man since the beginning of the game, essentially. So how would he know? weird. I felt like he saw through me for some reason. I don't like it, honestly. <laughs> Sir, you are suspicious as fuck in that orange ass looking suit. I think it's beige, but it, it looks orange to me. Anyway, it's orange in my heart. The principal gave me a meaningful smile and passed the school gate. Goodbye, principal. Did he figure it out? I mean, I mean, honestly, it would be really fucking weird if you were dating one of them, because you told this man that you were like cousins and then like, he'd be like, oh, you're, you're fucking your cousin. <laughs> but I guess also the other thing you have to take into consideration is that this man also lives above her. Like he lives in the house above her house. So like, ideally he can probably hear a lot of what they're doing or saying downstairs. So I, I mm, as much as I want to be like, he's being suspicious. He's also kind of not being suspicious. It's like a 50-50. He could be being really sus, but at the same time, he could just be like, 
yeah, like, I'm glad you found some more family members to be around or whatever, and you're happier. However, he is also implying that we are dating Yanho, so it's kind of weird. I don't know. For a moment, I did move at all, standing at, still at the spot. That was weird. That was weird. Wow. I've been constantly exclaiming ever since I passed the gate. <laughs> Just a lot of, wow, wow. <laughs> Just every five seconds. <laughs> the line in the hallway was so long, I couldn't even see the end. It, it's right there. <laughs> Shut up, we're moving on. They all came to say... <laughs> They all came here to see... I can't read. They all came here to have Wanho... Yanho? Wanho? Jesus Christ. Anyway. Yanho read their fortunes. Is Yanho that good? I don't think it's... It doesn't matter if he's good or not. Like, they just come to see Yanho anyway. Grandpa must be helping him a lot. Oh. God. Why are there so many people that are named Grandpa in this game? <laughs> I'm getting confused. Oh my god, my head. I'm taking a sip of water. Oh my god, this game. All right. I was peeping inside to see when I might be able to go in when I felt someone grab my shoulder. Is it Bessie? Oh. It's red. Huh. Also, the reason why I'm surprised it's red is because... So, Red was involved in the first storyline with Lance. But he was more so trying to get the main character to, like, be in the play with him. Which didn't end up working out for him in the end because, like, ideally we ended up with Lance. And also Lance decided to play my role instead. Okay. But now Lance, or Lance, sorry, Red is showing up. At the end of Yanho's route. That's interesting. Oh, and Tay. Hi, Tay. Oh, Tay and Red. As the two appeared, people started to stir. I heard some take pictures with their phones. I haven't seen Red in so long to the point that I've just forgotten that he exists occasionally. <laughs> Red made his Justice Warrior po- Yeah, that's- that's what that is! <laughs> and <laughs> he practiced all day yesterday, saying he was trying to relax his nerves. Cameras flashed here and there, just in time. Tay, you're wearing the same thing you wear at Banjul. <laughs> I feel like- I feel like I'm working, but I'm not getting paid for this shit. <laughs> Tay smiled. Are you actually happy about that? Oh my god. Come to think of it, I heard Tay's class doing is doing a cafe today. It's interesting that with the first route, we were much more involved because we ended up being a part of a play. And then, yeah, but then this time, we're not actually doing anything. We're just going to go see people, which is weird. I don't, I don't know, weird. Ah, that's not true. Mm. Kuro <laughs> It sounds like something Tay would say. Also, I just started thinking in my head as I was zoning the fuck out. And I was thinking in my head, maybe I should play Brothers Conflict. However, the more I thought about it, <laughs> the more I remembered what Butter Brothers Conflict was like. And then I'm just like, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it at all. Because I completely forgot what Bro Brothers Conflict was like. And then I immediately remembered. As much as it is a dating sim, I'd rather not. <laughs> it's so interesting how as we continue deeper into the storyline, 
everybody, including Tay himself, keeps comparing Tay to Yuri, which is weird because that means, that, oh, that leads to so many questions. Because, like, Yuri is definitely a fucking weirdo. A very horny fucking weirdo. And that's the only thing I've got for him right now. So does that lead to the question... That leads to the question of, is Tay the same way? Like, the exact same? Because that's terrifying. I don't like that. I don't like the fight. I don't like the idea of having two Yuri's. <laughs> Wait. Did I, did I read that right? He, he says that's a compliment. That being mistaken for Yuri is a compliment. All right. Ah, uh, Yuri. Don't fucking call that man a monkey. I will fight you. Oh, Mr. Yuri. Oh, God, I forgot we have to refer to him like that. Yeah. We almost went a whole stream without Yuri being annoying to me. <laughs> His face is still so punchable. I just want to throttle him just a little. Just a little. Before I knew it, Yuri was here too. Why y'all all popping up like this? The only person we're missing is Lance. Anyway, he must have run around the campus saying things like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. His flirty image comes in hand, in hand at times like this. He comes in hand, in handy? Anyway, it's the festival today, but you're early. You're early. Are you planning to have your fortunes read too? Also, it's really interesting that so yuri here is so yuri tay and lance or tay sorry yuri tay and red we didn't see any of them for the school festival in the other route and that's because tay was really busy uh red was in the play and then we have i i don't know what the fuck this man was doing <laughs> Yuri was somewhere else. I think he was preparing for his performance because he also had a performance, which I still don't understand why they let that man perform because he's literally a teacher. It's for the students to perform. I don't think it was for the kid, for the fucking teachers to perform. God, so weird. Anyway, moving on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's been zero days since I've been made uncomfortable by this man. All right, <laughs> guys, this is it. this is what this teacher always says. All right, who is this saying this to? Is this saying it to me? Are you trying to reassure us, guys? This is what this teacher always says. All right, what? I was afraid someone might be paying attention to our conversation. Whoa. 어, 근데 줄 진짜 길다. 이거 옐로우가 하는 거 맞지? 옐로우 인기 엄청 많네. 이래서 오늘 안에 볼수 있겠어? <웃음> Sorry. 그러게. 딱한 시간만 자유 시간을 얻어서 나온 건데 시간 안에 저 앞까지 가는 건 힘들겠어. You could always cut the line. 나도 연극 준비가 남아서 이 이상은 못 기다리겠다. 자, 그럼 모두 안녕. 난 이만 간다. 이따 내 연극 보러 오는 거 잊지 마. We're just not going to go see that man's play. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds about right. I read that, and I read that wrong. What? Even if we do go see the play, we'll, you'll have a hard time finding anyone but me in the audience. I have a natural glow. Sir, I cannot comprehend. We're moving on. <laughs> it is hard to see the faces in the audience when you're on stage. The Jim Red performs in this huge. Wait, I just realized. So, who would he be playing this play with? Because in the other route... It was me and him. So, is it with somebody else? That's interesting. Bye, Tay and Red. Tay and Red waved their hands and disappeared. <laughs> like magicians. 
As the two disappeared, I heard several people around sound disappointed. Yeah, that's understandable. How about you? Are you going to wait here? It's interesting that we don't find out what they're all doing beforehand. We just, like with the other route, but with this one, like, this one we find out on the day it's happening. Prepare? I thought all the teachers were just watching today. The Academy Festival is always run by students. So although teachers help during the preparation, the festival itself is completely run by the student council. Just for today, the student, the teachers stand in the back and watch the students enjoy the festival. Huh. Okay, what? No. No, I'd rather only go for red thing. Huh? Oh boy! Oh the ick! Oh the fucking ick! My guy! Stop it! Get some help, please! Oh my god! That is not. That's not a normal thing to say to anybody. It's like, oh, you're so cute. I just want to kidnap you if anybody, if nobody else was here. Wh who says this? I want to scream. Anyway, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was awful. I hated that. I hated that so much. Oh boy, we got the ick at least two times. Let's go. Let's get a... <laughs> I feel that. I feel that silence in my soul. I glare at Yuri. Good. Because man just claimed he would kidnap you if nobody else was here. Which is not reassuring. <laughs> Like, that is just a yikes. <laughs> Yuri winks and... What the fuck? Ah, uh, yes, Yuri winked and disappeared after saying some fuck shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <sighs> I only talked to him for a bit and I'm already tired. God damn it. Anyway, also, I'm just gonna save just to make sure I don't have to redo all of that because... Uh, Yonho, we'll save here. Because I don't think we have... No, that's the choice before this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh, God, sorry. Uh, so... Yeah. Alright. Back. I felt exhausted from worrying about what other people think of us. I mean, I guess we're gonna find out the next time we do his fucking route. Oh my god, it's gonna be so bad. How is that going to work for us in a relate, you know, future me problems? And the line got a bit shorter. Sure. Ah, finally, it's my turn. I didn't realize I was in line that whole time. I entered excitedly. Oh, it's. Oh, that's cute. I've never seen in the mystery study. I fucking can't read anymore. I've never been in the mystery study club room. In the middle of the classroom was a black tent. Is Yanho in there? I approached the tent and lifted the cloth covering the entrance. <laughs> this boy. Hi, Yanho. Yano quickly pulled out a chair for me. I looked around. The hell's that? Anyway. It, it really felt mysterious. Wow, the decorations are really good. You must have had a hard time preparing all this. Also, I can only imagine that they're going to give me, like, something really tough to do. Because it's it's got to be, right? right? <laughs> I thought it suits you, but this is better than than I imagined. Ah, right? <laughs> Don't worry. It's better than I imagined. You look so good. <laughs> I put up my thumbs. On the ball or just where? He looked embarrassed and pulled the cloak over his head. Where are you hiding? 
Your face beneath the cloak is the highlight of all this. <laughs> Yano pulled out a cane from the side. A cane? Oh, the ghost man. Oh, oh! I suddenly realized that we weren't the only ones here. I said an awkward, I awkwardly said, hello. Of course I didn't get an answer. It's a ghost, man. I st as I stared blankly at the cane, Yanho smiled. <laughs> oh, so how was today? Were you spot on? Also, what do you mean, how was today? This is like the morning. <laughs> but? Is it some shit like, will I fall in love? Same question? <laughs> oh yeah, right. I remember this from the other route. They were like, everybody's like, is my boyfriend cheating on me? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa was like, let me spill. <laughs> we we just spill the beans. Let me let me spill the tea real quick. God, it's so funny. <laughs> Ah. Poor baby. The poor baby. Yanho looked disheartened. Well, it's still good that you're getting things right. There are a lot of people outside, so cheer up. That's fair. <laughs> oh, right. Yano, read my fortune, too. Ne? Read mine, too. Um, since I'm not dating anyone. Yes, yes, my horoscope for today. Is it guess? Or just do my horoscope, I guess. I want to ask that. What do I do? Do, it, do you use cards? I was enthusiastic. Master. I'll you. Can you do horoscopes with, like, tarot cards? Well, actually, no, you can. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to shut up. Uh, I can't save? Oh, my God. It's a matching game. I don't want to do this. All right. Here we go. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. This shouldn't be there. Red. Oh, those are two different reds. Oh. Here and here. Doctor. You, you. Uh, main character, main character. Tay. Lance, Lance. Tay, Tay. Uh, Yuri, Yuri. And you. Yay! Fuck this game. <laughs> I get. I'm. Ooh. Game. That wasn't as hard as the fucking exam, but it's still. Why time it? <laughs> stop that. Get some freaking help. Get some. Stop it. No. Quick save. Because I'm tired of this shit. I have Yonho Diary too. Let's freaking go. All right, I will read that probably at the end of the stream. Um, I can't tell if it's good or bad just by looking at the card. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Really? If I'd known, I would be. I would have asked whether or not I'd become a billionaire. You know, honestly, fair. <laughs> Yanho carefully looked at the tarot cards on the floor. What's up, Yadho? Sorry. Huh? So, this clown card means that? Huh. 
Did you call me? What's up, Yan? Huh? Huh? What? What's up, Yano? Yeah. Master는 남자 친구 사귈 마음이 없으세요? I mean, I have a boyfriend. We're moving on. What? Yano fidgeted with his hood and said, "I was a bit flustered, so I laid down the card." Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have a boyfriend, girl? Like, what you doing? He kept on pulling the, the, his hood forwards while taking talking, so by the end, I couldn't even see his face at all. I was a bit embarrassed at the sudden question. Well, um, since no one likes me, so I have no boyfriend, I guess. Ugh. I did say it with my own mouth, but it's still pathetic. Embarrassed, I scratched my red cheeks. <laughs> I'm just average, you know? And Soy and Shinbi are too glamorous. I feel like I'm a squid when I'm with them. That that wasn't spelled right, I realized. Oh, of course it doesn't mean I don't like them. What I mean is, I've never been popular. The fucking sound effect scared the shit out of me. I didn't like that. I mean, what? Yanho came in front of me. I could see his red face beneath the shadow of the hood. My face is probably like that too. I suddenly felt that the tent got hot. Okay. My heart's beating fast too. Am I sick? Master's love profession. Love confession. Master's <laughs> I like the energy of, like, you said you'd be my family, but I want something beyond family. I want to be your lover. The girl who was complaining just before entered the tent. I heard people complain, but the door soon closed. I quickly backed away from Yanho, who was leaning close to me. My heart pounding at the sudden intruder. Um, I'm still having my fortunes read. Girl, if you don't get the fuck out of here, I swear. Anyway, as if she never expected an answer, she immediately sat down in front of Yanho. She does not give a fuck. What? How rude. I just want to fight her. Tell her she'll be, she'll be dirt poor. <laughs> Yanho didn't say a word. Actually, I saw that he was shaking a bit. Oh. Oh no, the trauma. Oh no, the trauma. Oh no. I, I think the PTSD is t kicking in. I think he's not doing good. The woman tried to take the hood off of Yanho with her hands. Um, uh, um, wait, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. The intruder was too rude. Like, get her the fuck out of here. I got up on my seat attempted and attempted to stop her. But I knew it was already too late. She already grabbed the edge of his hood. The moment the woman tried to take off his hood... Oh, uh, what happened? Did he push her? Yeah. That's understandable. Yanho pushed her away and ran out of the tent. It's the trauma. Y Yanho! 
I thought this was free. Who is paying for these things? Anyway, I ignored her and, and followed Yano. Good. I'm glad. Uh, I think the next option will be search the roof. <sighs> he must have ran this way. I ran the way Yanho went, but I didn't see him. He was smiling just until a moment ago. She was a bit rude, but it wasn't something to make him run out, out like that. She... Oh my god, I want to fight her. MC, what is wrong with you? You obviously know this man has some form of trauma. Like, we know this. He was abused. Physically. We, we know this. We can see it. We have seen it. <laughs> Get it through your fucking head. Man has abuse. He has been abused. And therefore he has trauma when it comes to situations like this. Why wouldn't he run away? I didn't feel good about this. I have to find Yanho fast. Can't talk today. I went towards the classroom where his belongings were. He's not here. His bag was still in the classroom. Where did he go? I think I've searched everywhere. Where is he? All right, go back home. Imagine just going back home after you saw this man run out. No, that's so funny actually. Wait, no, cancel. I meant to overwrite here, but it's it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, back. Go search the roof. The rooftop is the only place I didn't go. All right, and this is the last decision I have to make for a good ending so I can put this back in the full screen. I went back to the staircase. <sighs> the fuck, why am I running? I climbed the stairs up to the roof. <sighs> if he's not here, then I won't be able to find him. I desperately looked around the rooftop. I searched around desperately hoping Yanho would be here. Ah! I saw Yanho's hood from afar. Yanho! I saw him sitting in a corner of the empty rooftop, still in his cloak. He was crouched down on his knees gathered together. Yanho, you can't just leave like that. <sighs> I mean, he felt vastly uncomfortable. I, he's valid in leaving. The club members are going crazy. Yanho? Are you okay? I don't know why that wasn't your first question. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? As I approached him, I noticed he was slightly trembling. I saw him muttering something with his tiny lips under the hood. Yanho. I quickly took off his hood. You... His unfocused eyes were full of fear. His red eyes shook nervously like fire. What happened? I am... I am... I'm... I don't understand. Like... Maybe, just maybe, just let, let's just put it this way, hypothetically speaking. Maybe the MC does not know how a person who has been abused acts. So let's just say that she doesn't know anything about that. And that's probably why she doesn't understand this. But hear me out. If she does understand that, and she knows how people like that can act and respond to things, why the fuck are you acting like this? <laughs> What is wrong with you? Like, you know that man's is not okay. You know that something happened with his previous owner, owner, and that's why he's like this. And also why he has all these scars in his body. Like, I, I don't... And I know that some of these things are things that we only saw, but, like, god damn it. MC had empty no thoughts. Yeah, like... Oh my god, Fizzy. Hi, Fizzy. I'm frustrated. <laughs> MC, stupid as hell. Like... Yanho is not okay and she doesn't understand why. She's like, why did he run out of the room when that girl forcibly tried to grab him by his like hood and everything and make him read her fortune? I'm like, why wouldn't he run out of the room? We know that MC don't remember shit, okay? You know, fair. The game, the name of the game is Nameless, so she don't remember shit. It's okay. She don't remember the name of whatever it is that she forgot about. She forgot some memories, apparently. I, I can't blame her for not remembering things. At the same time, <laughs> I still will blame her. 
Hello, Fizzy. Hello, Fizzy. But goddamn. Also, I don't think you've missed too much, uh, Fizzy. Uh, like, we were at the festival part. I played a, a matching game a few minutes ago. <laughs> they, they had me match people's faces, so that was fun. That was real fun. And by fun, I mean stressful, kind of. I just woke up. Wow, you had a good little nap? Or did you just, like, wake up for the first time today? Like, just now? Was it was it a nap kind of sleep? Or, like, was it, like, a big sleep? Like, was it for a while? Um, but yeah, I... Oh my god. MC doesn't understand this man has trauma. It's just right there in front of her. She can see the trauma oozing from his body. I woke up for the first time today. Ah, uh, okay, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Man, I wish a big sleep. Man, I wish I had a big sleep. I, I don't sleep like that. I wish I could. Well, okay, let me put it this way. When I wasn't working a full-time job, I was sleeping like that. Like, I would go to sleep, like, 5, 6 in the morning and then wake up at, like, 3-something in the afternoon. But nowadays, no, nah, not at all. <laughs> Funny, because MC also has a lot of trauma. You know, they work so well together as a couple. <laughs> they just, they have, they don't have common trauma, but they both have trauma. <laughs> But she's seeing it outside of herself for the first time. That is actually fair. I also feel like the MC doesn't realize she has trauma yet. <laughs> she doesn't realize there is a trauma there. She's just like, yeah, this this experience happened to me as a child. And we're going to move on from that. <laughs> we're just not going to talk about it. Ever. It's like, yeah, yeah, I was extremely lonely because my parents decided to abandon me for work. It's fine. I grew up fine. I grew up great. I had my grandpa. <laughs> like, the one thing that she had. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we were getting fortunes read by Yan Ho, and um, then he was like, play a card game. And I was like, oh my god, why? <laughs> and now uh, we're trying to help homeboy get through his trauma? I, I have no idea what we're trying to do here. But we're just trying to get him off the roof, because he's having a breakdown, which is understandable. Because the lady was mean to him. And I want to throw hands, honestly. But, uh... So far, we, we already have the good ending. So I just have two more chapters of just... Probably just reading. <laughs> and then that should be the end of this route. And then the next stream will be Bad Ends. And then probably the, the start of... <sighs> Yuri's route. I regret Yuri's route. Also, earlier, while you weren't here... Uh, there was a scene where Yuri was like, we were all in the hallway together before I went to go see Yanho. And he was like, <laughs> just casually was like, hey, I would kidnap you if nobody else was here. He was like, you're so cute. I would just snatch you up and kidnap you. Out, out of pocket. <laughs> just completely out of pocket. Man was just like, yeah, I would just kidnap you casually. And I'm just like, says this what normal person says that what yeah exactly man's just like yeah i would just kidnap you and i'm just like are you the yonder one like are you the real one? <laughs> honestly i'm at the point where i think tay is actually the yonder day but i feel like uh i feel like yonho had some of that though he's not normal he is not normal yeah yuri is definitely yuri got his own issues probably his own trauma as well that we we have to work through somehow <laughs> but boy am i not ready for that either Ugh, i just i don't want to do yuri's route but i have to know because of the lore <laughs> i need to know his storyline so i could understand why he is like that what makes you say tay is a yandere so it seems to me okay so in the very first route for for tay uh or not tay sorry lance for Lance's route, there was, like, a scene where Tay came to check in on us because, like, Lance had had the fever or whatever. And, like, MC was, like, you know, by his side and whatnot. And so he came into the room and he talked to Lance, who was not conscious, essentially. And he told Lance that he better take care of the MC because, essentially, he gave up on us so that he could have us. Which is weird, because why would you say that? <laughs> like, what what an abnormal thing to say to somebody. It's like, yeah, I gave them up for you. 
so you better treat them well, which is weird. And then, like, this route, it seems that he also knows a lot about Yanho as well. Because, like, for Yanho's, like, earlier, there was, like, a scene where we came back inside after Yanho had a good cry because he finally kind of worked through some of his trauma. And we finally told him, like, yeah, you could be a part of our family or whatever the fuck. And essentially, we came back inside, and then he told him everything was going to be okay as if he knew what the fuck was going on. And I'm just sitting here like, how much does Tay know? Because I, I feel like he knows a lot about these people, or a lot more about these people than we do. And that is weird, because why would he? <laughs> I don't know. It also seems that he really, really, really likes the MC, which makes me concerned, because I wonder if he's going to be the Yandere. Like... I'm at a point where at least two people could be the Yandere. And I feel like definitely Yanho is going to be one of those for the bad endings. However, I don't know about Tay. Maybe Tay is actually one. He could be. Or he could be something else similar to a Yandere. Maybe one of the other iterations. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. But he's definitely something. And it's not normal. As with most of these boys, honestly. I think the only one that's normal is Red. And that's not... That's not reassuring, because it's red. <laughs> like, red is, like, the most non-normal one. Mom dairy. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Also, the, the fucking principal was really sus earlier, because he was like, he told us, like, isn't it good to have more family around? And I was just like, what? And then suddenly he started talking about how the MC was really lonely after the grandfather passed and that probably the grandfather would be really happy now that she's happy and doing good. And I was just like, what? <laughs> like, what do, you, what do you mean? Like, what are you on about? It also, like, he was also implying that he knew about the relationship that Homegirl had with Yanho, which is so confusing because we never see that man. How would he know anything? <laughs> but then again, he does live literally on top of our house. So maybe he's hearing some shit. I don't know. Have we ever talked to him? So at the very beginning of the game, like when the game first starts, we talk to him then. That's like right before the kids start going to the school. That's the first and only time we talk to him. The second time we talk to him is right before the festival, which is like right before we go inside the school to go to the festival. And that, that this is the second time we talk to him. <laughs> Wait, he lives on top of our house? Yeah, yeah. So the bottom layer of the house is where we live. The top layer is where he lives. That's why we know him. That's why we are so close to him because he was also friends with the grandfather. So he lives on top of our house and we live underneath, which is weird. And I'm not going to go into that. Oh, also the other thing I put together earlier was that the people who make the dolls, like the company is called Kroba Doll. And the name of the academy is also Kroby. So I wonder if they're both the same thing or they're both connected somehow. <laughs> I wonder. You'd think we'd talk to him more. You know, honestly, you'd think we'd see him more. We go to school every day. <laughs> like every single day we go to school and this man is literally like above our house. <laughs> like, how do we not see him? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird. But also, like, I do wonder if the Kroba doll and the, the Kroby, like... Academy are connected in some way or is it one of those situations where they, they've named this after the city that we are in apparently because sometimes that's what they do with these kinds of games they're like yeah it's Kroby City so everything is Kroby something <laughs> or yeah or outside of our house yeah you would think you would think we'd see him outside at any given time right wrong <laughs> we never see him <laughs> he's never outside of his house he's a principal he has to uphold <laughs> He used to uphold the <laughs> the duties of a principal, <laughs> whatever that would be. Honestly, <laughs> outside of school, I guess I don't I don't know what that would be outside of school. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Yanho is breaking down. He's not doing good. He was smiling bashfully until a moment ago. I wonder what happened. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Wow, what's going on with him? I swear. I swear. <laughs> She is the dumbest. <laughs> like, I want to fight her. Anyway, like, I'd assume since he lives on top of our house, he'd seem to have the role of caretaker after our grandpa passes away. Like, you know, yeah, that would make a lot of sense, right? 
It would make so much sense that he would try to look after this 16-year-old girl who's living by herself after her grandfather passed away, and the grandfather is really close friends with this man, that he would take care of us. But no, we've just been alone in this house <laughs> since he was friends with Grandpa. Yeah. yeah, it is weird. It is so weird. Like, there's so many things that are not adding up here, but I do I do feel like the grandpa, the, the grandpa, Jesus, the principal is definitely suspicious. That would explain so much. Yeah, yeah. But we never see him. Yeah. I feel like he's up to no good. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> also, I'm starting to think that our memories are connected to our journals. Because, like, I remember earlier in, I think, this chapter or the previous chapter, I think it was this chapter, they said that the journal entries started to get blurry and they started to get smeared as if somebody had smeared all of the entries that were, like, the recent ones. Which is weird because the previous ones, like, the older ones, were still there. So is that why our memories get fucked up? <laughs> we just don't remember anything because somebody smears our journal and then we're like, mm, I don't remember that. <laughs> didn't happen <laughs> I don't know there's so many weird things in this game that make me question everything and I'm at a point where I'm just like anybody could be the the two guys in our in our memories or in our dream or whatever like anybody could be those guys <laughs> anything can happen Tay Tay as well. Tay is also sus. I, I don't know what's going on. The only boy that is not sus is Red, and I feel like Red is going to be sus, but only at the end. Tay knows a lot. Tay knows too much. <laughs> like, as we get deeper into this game, we, we find out more about, like, other characters, but not about Tay. And then on top of that, like, they keep comparing Tay to Yuri, and and he's, like, today, like, he took it like a champ. He was like, yeah, thanks for the compliment. Because I was like, what? Why would that be a compliment if you're saying that you're like your Yuri, the person who is very much so, a, like very much so a pervert of some sort? Like my guy, I don't think that's a compliment. I don't think that's good. There's a lot of issues here. Like I don't know, man. I I don't know. I don't know. There's too many questions. Not enough answers. I need more answers. Then again, this is only Route 2, so I have I don't have a lot of answers. <laughs> uh, Yano, hey, it's me. Me. Hi, Yano. Compliment. Yeah, compliment. Yeah, do you see me? Hi, Yano. As I took off his hood, the sunlight shined down on his hair. His soft, thin blonde hair shined brightly like the sun. I read that wrong. Anyway, moving on. And the fear in his eyes slowly disappeared. His heavy breathing slowed down, slowly calmed down too. Good. I'm glad. What's going on? Are you okay? Huh? Are, are you okay? Yonho, you're gonna have to answer me today. <sighs> I'm worried. What just happened? His eyes are back to normal. That's fair. Why? Oh, does she look like his previous owner? Oh yeah, by the way, um, since well, when you were gone as well, uh, we found out how we ended up getting Yonho. It turns out that his previous owner didn't like Yonho anymore after she beat the shit out of him. And then she decided to sell him so that she could afford to buy an expensive dress. We love that. It's my favorite thing. What the fuck? <laughs> she was just like, yeah, I don't need this one anymore. So sell it. And then I can get this beautiful new dress for myself. And I'm just like, the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. The, mm, I, I want to fight. I don't even know who that person is. I want to fight though. Because wh what the fuck is wrong with you? There's so many issues there. I mean, it's not her fault that she didn't know that the doll was sentient. But like, besides that, you still don't do that. Watch her beat the dress too. <laughs> Watch her beat the dress too. <laughs> yeah, I feel like something definitely was not right there with her. She was not okay at all as a child. Mm -mm. Also, I think she was like a, a kid, which makes it even worse. That, that, that makes it more worrisome because if that's a child, and that child is doing some shit like that, that that's not good. 
I don't know. We're not going to question it too much. Looked like someone. Who? My guy, he would only know like a couple of people. Yanho slowly stood up and headed to the fence. The wind blew through his hair. Okay. Yanho finally opened his mouth. So, is he saying that person looked like his previous owner? Y yes, MC. Yes, that is exactly what that's exactly what he's saying. Good job. <laughs> You're getting it. <laughs> Nara understood the shock he felt. Hmm. I still don't understand what that even means. It's like, if you're a good boy, we'll stay together forever. How is he being bad? He's a doll. He wasn't doing shit. <laughs> you're, you're the one playing with the doll. How is he being bad? <laughs> Yanho started talking about his previous owner. I decided to listen to his story. Why wouldn't you listen to his story? Come to think of it, I've never heard him talk about her. Oh my god. There's so many flags here, so many things with the MC that she's just missing. She's just missing every single detail about this man. She is not catching on to anything. It's just going over her head completely throughout the entire game. My God. <laughs> How were you careful? You were a doll at the time. You weren't capable of doing things, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Did his previous owner get sick of him? I guess that he would have a story like this since he was auctioned off. Yeah, he was sold. But I didn't know he was this hurt. <sighs> Once again, MC, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> I'm really just seconds away from fighting her. Because there were so many signs. Like, she saw the scars on his body, right? She saw the way he was acting, right? Like, it's so obvious. <laughs> Mans is traumatized. He's not doing great. Like, what are you on about? Like, wh why? What? Why do? You, why do you think? Why? <laughs> I want to fight her. She's making me angry. All right. I should have realized when Yanho started to obsess on me. I feel like that would have been step number one, but also step number two would have also been to see when you saw the scars, because there wouldn't have been any other reasoning as to why he had the scars, because he had the scars when he was a doll and she saw those from the beginning, but she never questioned them. Oh my God. It's a miracle this girl has been murdered. Like, oh my God, how? Oh my God. If there was a red flag, it was like standing right in front of her. She wouldn't see it. Jeez. All right. I blamed myself for not caring for him with a bigger heart. I kept looking at Yanho, feeling sorry, and he lowered his gaze and to continue his sad story. She would abuse this doll because he would look in a different direction and because he didn't look good in his clothes? Are you kidding me? What? This man is not Jungma. <laughs> I am so... I'm so... I'm so... I'm so... I'm honestly angry. I, that's where I'm at right now. Because what the fuck? Like, also, uh, what? <laughs> like, oh yeah, his head keeps turning by itself. <laughs> like, like, what do you mean he was turning? Like, he was looking somewhere else. How? Wait, I forgot what Jungma means. <laughs> I was thinking it meant okay, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, oh my god. 
I'm not saying there's any good reason to abuse anybody because there's not any re- reason to do that, but what the fuck is wrong with this girl? <laughs> like, what the fuck were you... Why were you being mean to this doll for no fucking reason? What is wrong with you? Say it with me now. Therapy. She needed therapy. That's what she needed because she has some fucking anger issues. What is wrong with her? I haven't even watched the K-drama in forever. I, I've, I'm currently watching a K-drama. I'm watching a very weird K-drama on Netflix. I think it's called Behind Your Touch or something like that. And like, it's about this girl who ends up getting like, psychometric power so she's now a psychic but she can only use her abilities when she touches somebody's butt it's very funny <laughs> at first but then she starts using her powers to like solve crimes that are happening in her city and now there's like a serial murder situation that's happening and so they're trying to figure out who the murderer is and it's getting pretty juicy it's getting pretty chaotic honestly okay this man is not Jung Mao. Jo Ayo? What what does that mean? What? Yeah, it's a very weird K drama, Fizzy. It's a very weird K drama. Very funny though. Silly even, but at the same time, like I, I like the fact that they never know when to pick a lane because they want to make the K drama seem like it's getting like really, really serious, but then they immediately backpedal every episode and it makes me so infuriated. <laughs> That butt is getting juicy. No, the butt is... <laughs> no, no, the plot's getting juicy. I want to watch that. It's super fun. I, I'm like on episode nine or something. We're, we're getting... T I'm, I'm like more than halfway through and I'm just like... Every episode, I'm just like, ooh, I'm so excited to see who the murderer is. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? But yeah, it, it's, it's really an interesting K-drama. I'm also just really confused by the plot sometimes because... I love the way that they do this because it makes me infuriated every time they do it because they keep faking me out about things that they give me in the trailers. So like at the ep at the end of every episode, they give like a new little trailer, little snippet so that you can see a bit of the next episode to kind of give you like a little hype, you know, like to get you hype for the next episode. And so in one of the episodes I was just watching, they were like, oh yeah, the, um, uh oh, is the stream dying? I think the stream is kind of dying. The stream's kind of dying. Let me see. Uh oh. The stream is kind of. Oh yeah, the stream is definitely treading along. Hold on. Oh. We back? We good? Huh. I am so confused. Stream is doing its own thing today. Jung Mao means. Really, really or truly, and Jung Ayo means okay. Ah, uh, Jung Ayo. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, but what I was going to say is that they keep giving, like, trailers at the end of the episodes. That said, I don't know Korean grandma. Me neither. <laughs> I surely don't either. But um, at the end of one of the episodes, like, the main character's best friend, like, they, they kind of gave a little, like, clip. And they were like, oh no, like, where's this person who was like the main character's best friend? They were like, oh no, she's gone missing. And so like, since there's like a serial murder situation, it's like, oh my God, does Bestie go missing? Like, holy shit. And then I watched the next episode. It's not that she was missing. She was doing something else. <laughs> and I was just like, stop doing this to me. Like, I keep thinking something's happening and it's not. Stop that. <laughs> the number of times they've gotten me with that same trick I, it's been like three or four episodes where they've done that. And I'm just like, I hate y'all. I hate y'all so much. Because y'all y'all make me think that something's happening. And then I get into the episode and nothing happened. And I'm like, God damn it. I thought we were doing something. No, we're just suffering continuously. <laughs> I hate that. Just anxiety inducing. It really is. Because they would be like, oh my God, this person's dead or something. And then the next episode, they're just, they're, they're just covered in ketchup. Like, I think one episode ended with somebody like pulling a knife on somebody and then the next episode he was like peeling an apple with it <laughs> i was just like i can't with y'all stop that <laughs> please i did not ask 
to be gaslit every step of the way with this drama. <laughs> but it's really funny. It, it's a really weirdly paced K-drama, but I, I do like it. Like... I don't know where we're going with it, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be something big, I think, something insane by the end of it. Probably some plot twists along the way. But anyway, let me get back to Yanho telling his really sad story. <laughs> One sec. Mm -hmm. Also, this man's giving a uh, major V kind of energy. V from uh, Mystic Messenger, specifically. He's giving V energy. And if you know, you know. Y you know. If you don't know, I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> Mostly because it's kind of... Well, it's not really a spoiler. It's kind of a spoiler. Eh, no, I'm not going to explain that. But he is giving that energy. I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you would know. <laughs> It's giving, it's giving V, sorta. Okay, <laughs> it, it has to do with uh, V's blindness. If you, if you know about why he's blind, unless you mean the V route energy. No, 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 no. I mean, it, it's in the main route. It's in the main game. It's not in the V route specifically. It, it's more so like the origins of when he he got the, you know, why he why he became blind essentially that that in particular is what i mean <laughs> so it's giving that energy <laughs> in particular also i don't know whether or not if the stream is trying to crash itself or are we okay because like oh no it's back again what the hell every time i look away it decides to be like oh yeah let me just be bad and then immediately i look back at it it's good again stop that all right Streams being a little goofy. It does seem to be being a little goofy today. So if the stream crashes, we'll continue this another time if it does. <laughs> um, probably after Christmas, because I do want to stream Christmas Eve. That that's what I do now. I'm streaming Christmas Eve not Christmas, not Saturday, not the day before, because I am busy. And by busy, I mean I may be doing some stuff, but I'm not sure. Honestly, if I'm not too busy in the afternoon, I may stream again. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh... It's really fucked up. Yanho looked as if it was painful to talk. Nothing. You did nothing wrong, my guy. Y you did nothing wrong. N nada. Zero. Zilt. This poor man. It's really fucked, right? Oh, okay, so he was in the closet at one point. Because I think there was, like, some kind of flashback with that information in there. It's so sad. Hmm. He is a good boy. A very good boy. But, like, this is just really sad. Hmm. 
Yanho pulled up the cloak to reveal one of his arms. I did not. I did not frown? <laughs> what do you mean you didn't frown? What do you mean? <laughs> Don't you mean I did frown? What? <laughs> I did not frown. Why, what, what, what did you do then instead? I've already seen those, fr those scars before. The scars are on his clear skin were made over a long period of time. They look like they've been cut with something sharp. That's that's much worse. That is much worse. I'm glad he's finally talking about this, by the way. I meant to say that earlier. At the very least, I will say this. She, at least she had the decency to not, like, just throw him away in the trash or some shit. Like, she actually did give him to somebody who, who would want him. Which is better than doing that, I guess. But at the same time, the abuse is also still a yikes. Oh. That's because she's a liar. Very much so. The box. I remember what happened before. The box Yanho came in. Oh yeah, that's why he was all dirty and everything. The happiness and excitement I felt when I first met him. Yanho looks at me, even though he's not on screen. No, he is. His shy eyes were full of determination now. It was different from when he fell into a dark spot. Right now, Yanho is glowing. The previous owner sounds like a spoiled brat. She was. She absolutely was. Because, like, there was, like, a moment where the girl was like, Hey, Mom, can you buy me this new dress? And then the mom was like, No. We can't afford that. And the, and the little girl was like, Oh, okay, well, I'll just sell this doll. I'm just like, Your parents bought you that doll for X amount of money, and you just sold it online for funsies, you know. Just to get a dress. And I'm just like, this is a prized possession you had once. But okay. Alright. Alright. Hi, Nufi. Hi, hi. Welcome, Nufi. And that's when you met me. Hi, how are you? Hello. How are you, Nufi? I'm I'm doing pretty good. My my mouth is feeling better, so I'm able to talk better. Talk better? Talk more without hurting my mouth. That's what I mean. Which is good because God, I was suffering before. Yanho lowered his gaze. The sun was bright and the shadow was dark. What shadow? Anyway, I so I couldn't see him, but I knew. Yanho was crying. I could see his tears falling drop by drop on the rough rooftop floor. <laughs> I knew we. Oh yeah, Fizzy, before um, that rude girl like interrupted the, the fortune telling thing with Yanho, Yanho was just like, uh, hey yo girl, why don't you have a boyfriend? <laughs> and then we were just like, I don't know. <laughs> hello, hello, Nufi. <laughs> 
And then, like, shortly after, he was like, can I be your boyfriend? And then we did not get to respond, which is so upsetting. <laughs> like, we did not get to respond at all to that. But it was really cute. Uh, good. Oh my god, you can absolutely be in a relationship and work through your trauma. Unless your relationship's gonna be held up by the trauma, in a way. Like, if, if you're gonna have an issue in the relationship because of the trauma, then you're gonna have to work through that beforehand. Well, now we know why. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> No, he was saying that the reason why he couldn't have us... He was saying that the reason why he couldn't have us was because he hasn't worked through his trauma yet. And I'm just like, my guy, that takes time. Like, you, you take your time, my guy. It takes a while. He, It takes a while to work through trauma before, like, anything. But I, I understand where he's coming from. Uh, I got the UR... Oh, you got the UR plus for Diavolo? Ooh. Send me a picture in, in Discord so I can see... My boy. <laughs> she said, send me a picture so I can see too. I can live vicariously through you. <laughs> what's, it, what's up, Yanho? Ooh, you got two UR plus? Ooh, that's crazy. Are we gonna get a kiss seat or are we what what's gonna happen here? I approached Yanho and embraced him. Oh, it's a hug. Nice. So no, eat this sucker. Ow, did you shoot me? <laughs> I was shot by a nerf gun. How fucking dare you? You'll never find the bullet now. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't stop. Yeah. Never let me do nothing. Thank fuck. <laughs> Thank fuck. Fair. Alright, what was what was she saying? The rabbit shaped fried eggs were so good. Yeah, they were. What? <laughs> I was starved for Diavolo. That's fair. Wait, what? Juice? I was shot with a nerf gun. One one bullet to the head. I'm dead as hell now. This is the Psyche Ghost channel now. <laughs> Meanie. It didn't hurt, luckily. I am the good witch Azura. Now eat this sucker. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, hit me in the side? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that bad, but it's just, it's the surprise. It's like getting getting shot with it is, it's the surprise that gets me, not so much the actual, ah, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no more bullets. God dang it. <laughs> I am not a mini. Mini. You're a mini. I'm not a mini. You're Bruh. a mini. <laughs> mini. Mini. Ah! See, I don't feel it on my head. Probably because I have a hat on. Pay your fucking taxes. <laughs> Stop doing this. Mini. Big mini as well. Big me. It's not my fault she refuses to pay her fucking taxes. Uh, I do refuse to pay my fucking taxes. Buh, 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 buh. Anyway, Yano looked like he was asking me what I'm talking about. I listed everything for Yano. Here we go. Is, is that the one always by your side? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He he had a traumatic experience and now um was having a mental breakdown, so we're helping him through that. All he right. also told us his backstory finally. <laughs> I was always by your side. He was always by my side. That's my facts. True. Mm -hmm. And the tickets for the amusement park and what else? Oh, the carrot cakes. That, that was so good too. And yeah, the that's tea. The carrot? Yeah. Yeah. No, pay your taxes. Okay, I pay my taxes, but only for the ones. <laughs> but only the one the tax. Ones, the one tax, yeah. The one tax. <laughs> one, one tax, but not all of them. The one tax is real. Must talk. But we go back to this. And I really thank you for waking me up every morning and you texted me all day so I wouldn't get bored. All the things I listed were were what Yanho gave me. Sometimes they were too much, but Yanho, you always li sincerely liked me. Sometimes you were a little too extra and you texted me a little too much. 
Me too, bud. Then yell at the governor to use your taxes with the community and not rich people shit. You know? Oh, if only that worked. I know, right? If only that was effective. I mean, I would love to, like, do that and then actually have it in a, have it have an effect, you know? But does it? No. No, it does not. They don't give a fuck. All right, we smiling out here. And seeing you grow up every day. Grow up? What was he, a baby? Anyway, I'm seeing you differently nowadays. Uh-huh. Yanho... You were jealous of my family, right? You know, my parents always tried to buy me new toys whenever I cried. But that was never what I wanted. But I wasn't really I wasn't upset really. I knew that they cared for me. No, no they don't. They abandoned you for work. They said fuck this child and then went to go work. So they've abandoned their boy. Pretty much. They've yeah. abandoned their son. But that was it. Also I got my I first paycheck today. <laughs> nice. And also my last paycheck. Oh, oh, you got both of them? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what, so, a, what a quinky dink. So I am a rolling in dosh. Hmm. It's too bad you got to pay, like, bills in, like, a few weeks. Uh-oh. I shouldn't spend it all on gambling. You shouldn't spend it on gambling, no. I spend it all on gambling. But that was it. I don't miss I them. I spend it all on rumbling. I love the energy of her being like, I don't miss my parents. <laughs> or get sad when I don't see them. I don't act so much and I don't get much. Damn, all right. That's what family means to me. She looks so not okay. <laughs> she looks so done. <laughs> oh no. That is upsetting. She but they are always set in my heart. In your heart? What? I know that I can, in the end, go back to them whenever I want to. But I don't want to, so therefore I don't. <laughs> is that what you want it to be to me? Yeah, Yanho? Probably not, because th that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Yano seemed lost for words. I don't know, Yano. Yano, I don't want you to be my family. Uh, how do I, how should I say this? I hesitated. These feelings I have for Yano. These feelings that make my heart pound and give me butterflies. Ow. <laughs> they, they, they fucking hurt. Ow, my heart. Yano called me. I want to be something spe more special. You make me feel special. But no, 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 I'm kidding. Um, Yano's face turned red. You are special. The other you, especially. <laughs> Yano, you always used to say this. What, what, what did you used to say? That you, by you Yeah, I was gonna say. If it's not, you're by my, <laughs> like, I was gonna be like, was he the one saying that the whole time? <laughs> or was it just us? It's me, by your side. <laughs> it's by your side, boy. Oh, God, it's so stinky. God damn it. <laughs> it's so smelly. Oh, God, it's still there. All right. Okay, yell at the government, governor and all of the local government officials by voting them out and then yell at them in real, in real life at town halls. Yeah, okay, that's more reasonable. Make them look like shit. Yeah, that that's more reasonable. That that's that's more doable right there. Did you just fart? No, 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 no. It, it's 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 yes. This, <laughs> no. God, if he farted that much and I could smell it across the room, that'd be an issue. You gotta pay for that. <laughs> Nobody's paying for farts from Juice. That is not what we're paying for today. I mean, I. I I don't, I don't want, no. <laughs> Just no. You fart into a can and then you, you, you sell it to somebody. It's like the gamer bathwater, but instead, the, the girl, the girl. <laughs> but instead, it's just, it's just farts from juice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can, you can buy ladies farts on like Etsy. You probably can buy lady, ladies farts on Etsy. Or used underwear. Both of those, probably. Weird. But we're moving on. <laughs> Ew, that's fair. Uh, that you do whatever I want you to. What? Did I miss something? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. It wasn't that he was always by our sides. It was that he that he would do whatever I wanted him to do. That That's what the thing he would always say. No. Oh. I didn't know how warm that kindness of yours was. 
I told him while recalling how awkward I felt at his excessive kindness. And I didn't know how nervous you were. But I'm glad I'm the one. I'm so glad that I'm the one to be by your side when you were nervous. They're going for like $70. The, wait, which thing? Bottled farts. Bottled farts are seventy dollars on Etsy. Yeah, that's that's a, that's that's a little that's a little extreme. Uh, excuse me, women's fart in a jar. Oh, women's fart in a jar for seventy dollars. A measly seventy dollars, and you too can own a fart in a jar. Also, what the fuck do you do with that? Anyway, that's a can of real will pass. <laughs> Serious inquiries only. A real fart in a jar. Made to order and you can make me and tell me the potency of the fart. The well, wrap with care and make sure it's sealed to preserve aroma. It's it's wrapped with care and made con- concealed to observe obs- obs- observe? That's not the right word. To keep that aroma inside. Love that. Love that for them. I mean, honestly, if, if that's your cash cow, that's your cash cow, I guess. Some people gotta sell their feet pics. Yeah. I'm not gonna be mad at it. Can't be mad at their hustle. Their socks have an amazing aroma, according to this one review. The, the, the socks? They're selling socks. They're also selling socks. Oh my god. All right then. I felt happy to know that Yan. Yan <laughs> what? I felt happy to know Yanho's weak side, so I could use it against him. <laughs> this game changes drastically. <laughs> if I had known before. I, I swear to fucking G, the signs were there, but she just doesn't know shit. Anyway, all right. I would have been kinder to him. Girl, I swear. Anyway, I regret it again and again. I wish you'd stop being nervous by my side. And stop <laughs> holding on to- I wish you'd <laughs> stop being by my side, Yana. Oh, I mean, that's probably a bad ending. That's probably one of the bad endings. And stop holding on to my clothes, making sad faces. I want to be happy with you. Not as a family, but as something special for just the two of us. Like That's what I want pick. you to be to me. What? Like a side pick. Like a side pick. No. What do you think? Yano always tried for me. <laughs> tried what? Anyway, uh, he always struggles to become a better person. He's no longer afraid of getting stuck in a box, and he's finally trying to take a step forward. I wanted to. Kn- I wanted him to know my honest feelings. Yanho grabbed me. His eyes got teary. His warmth spread to me through his hand. Excuse me. Sorry. This girl gives me emotionally stunted vibes. Yes. Yes. Extremely. Yeah, I don't I don't think she knows what the fuck is going on with herself at all. Like physically stunted, like short people. No emotionally stunted which is different is it yeah <laughs> brother brother yes mother <laughs> um due to the her emotional trauma and the fact that she's an only child who barely saw her parents and only really had one parental figure yeah yeah i i definitely do think that she is like emotionally stunted cuz i feel that i've been there she's t- she's talking to dolls y'all yeah. So, I feel like it's a little bit more of a problem. I, okay, hear me out, though. Like, I feel like talking to dolls and stuffed animals is, like, a really normal thing. Okay, but, like, to this extent? Okay, in this case, this is a different scenario, okay? This game is about being together with these dolls, okay? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean, like, yeah, she's a little, when she's I a little bit. talking to dolls, I didn't mean just talking. You, you meant, you meant. Trying meant, to fuck them. I mean, she probably is fu- you know? We're not gonna go into that. I- succeeding in fucking them, excuse me. Yeah, she may she may be fucking these boys. I know I would. <laughs> Wait, how old are they? I don't know! I mean, real talk, uh, since they were dolls, technically they, they don't have ages. But technically, if we go by the years that they are in the high school, ideally only one of them is an adult, and are the other, like... in high school? Everybody's in this high school except for Yuri, who is... A teacher. I guess I'll fuck Yuri then. I don't know. I don't know whether or not if they are supposed to be fuckable. I mean, they're in high school. 
Yeah, but the MIMC is also in high school, so I guess that's okay, except for Yuri, because that's creepy and weird. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know, anyway, Yonho believes this, everything you said. This is a little. Yeah, yeah, I believe everything you said is what Yonho said. Thank you. <laughs> I, I believe what Yonho said is I believe everything you just said. Yeah. Because what? Because what, Yonho? Uh, is he gonna? Is he gonna confess? Yeah. Well, back up. He said. <laughs> he said it. He said the words. Ah. <laughs> My boy is stuck. My boy, come here. <laughs> that boy keeps getting stuck. See, as long as he can be by our side. <laughs> Man's like, I don't care if I'm your... If I'm, what was I going to say? I don't care if I'm your brother or your boyfriend. Whatever. As long as I'm by your side. <laughs> I mean, they, I think they were supposed to be our cousins or some shit. You're welcome, Yanho. I'm glad you remember this. Yanho looked into my eyes. The sun above our heads moved slowly. Uh, sure. I'm glad they made everyone in Mystic Messenger of Age. God, I, I, that's why I fucking love Mystic Messenger. Because, like, at the very least, everybody was over 18. So it didn't matter that if, who you fucking simped for. Also, the boys that I liked were mostly in their 20s. So didn't really matter. <laughs> But it was like this game, it's just like everybody's oh God, oh like God, kind of a high schooler. What'd you say to me? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> brother. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, not actually brother, but that's the energy. The brother. sun moves slowly. <laughs> brother. <laughs> the sky looked beautiful. The sky, be the beautiful brother. sky. <laughs> the beautiful sky reflected the colors of Yanho's hair and his eyes. There ain't not a bit of red in the sky. It is orange. No red allowed in the sky. It is mostly orange right now. It is not red. Thunder. It was only us two at the empty rooftop. The sky was already red with the sunset. Yanho closed his eyes and his clear face came at me. And I closed my eyes too. Aww. That's so pretty. There's a little star in the background with the sun. That's cute. Yo, there's a picture this time? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Babe. <that> never happened. <laughs> Babe, this is this is definitely a, a dating so A visual to my novel? Yes, this is a visual to the novel for now. Okay, God. But like remember when Lance pushed you down the <laughs> Or when you made Lance wear clothes. Or anything with Lance, really. Honestly, Lance really got shafted in the end. Uh, he missed out on a lot of things that I feel like Yon... Like, you want to know what's really fucked? So, remember how literally... What? Nothing. But remember how, like, we dressed up Lance, right? And we gave him a whole new outfit, right? Nope. Don't and remember that. <laughs> and I feel like I would have never seen that. But we didn't get to see the outfit. Tell me why for Yonho, for this, for this fucking scene, he got an outfit. He got an outfit change. He is in a cloak right now. What the fuck? <laughs> well, clearly the developers have like, differences. Like, what the fuck? Y'all said fuck Lance in every aspect, but no, Yonho gets a fucking cloak in this scene. And also for the other part as well, he was in the cloak for the other section too. What the fuck? Yeah, all right, we, we kissed. All right, his trim, yeah, okay. His last teardrop fell on my cheeks. Now I want him to share his pain with me like this. Through kisses? <laughs> share my pain. <laughs> Jared hates Lance. Yeah, really, at this point, we may as well, we may as well just say that Jared hates Lance. Uh, I don't want him to suffer by himself. I want to hold on to his desperate hands. As much as he tried for me, it was my turn to give back. What does tried for me mean? Well, that's white screen again. The next day. <laughs> the next night. Um. 
That, that's how you wake up? Anyway, still sleepy, I reach out for my phone. After turning it on, I saw a text. God, I have not been checking my phone this whole time. Master, you sleepy head. If you don't wake up, I'll go and get you. Is that the message? That is the message. God. Where my mouse? <laughs> oh, wait. Is there a diary entry? I bumped into Yanho in front of the bathroom before I, I used to joke around and ask him to shower with me. You did? <laughs> but now I don't think I can ever make that joke again. Seeing Yanho put a bath gown in front of the bathroom, I thought that he was becoming more and more like Tay. Go Barbie. Go Barbie. I, I didn't understand that at all. We're moving on. Festival over safety. What? Oh, safely. Can't read. Yanho asked me to- Festival over safety. <laughs> <laughs> safely. Yano asked me to go to the library in the weekend. Uh, exams are coming up? No. God damn. Oh, this one's also... Today was the festival. Yano's fortune reading booth was a huge success, at least before Yano burst out of the booth. I sort of expected him to still be heard about the, his previous owner, but I think he just exploded today. Does he feel better now? After letting it all out? Yano try... <laughs> wait. Yano's trying to face his scars and stand up again. All I can do is to support him and be by his side. Yanho told me that he loves me. That the that wor that huge word blasted me. Do I also do, do I also have a feeling? <laughs> what? That's fair. Uh is there anything else? Exams in the Uh yeah. Does she not know if she has feelings for this man? That was really fucking no. That's weird. Suspicious. <laughs> I laughed at his text. All right. Sometimes Yanho's trustworthy and cool for the least expected things. But he's usually still cute and adorable. I don't know if he knows the connotations of those words. Cute and adorable? <laughs> yeah, what's the bud to say? No, wait. no, 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 no. I think she's talking about, Master, you sleepyhead, if you don't wake up, I'll go in and get you. What two words? That was more than two words. No, those words, not two words. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we were at his side. <laughs> My, how the turntables. That was the only text he sent. Yanho doesn't bombard me with texts anymore. But the shorter the text became, the stronger our faith. Wow, that sounds like a cult right there. Moving on. I got up at Yanho's cute threat. Honestly, I wouldn't have gotten up, but we're moving on. <laughs> I suddenly remembered what Yanho said to me as he pouted. Have we not been texting back Yanho this entire fucking game? Has this man just been texting us one-sided messages this entire time and we have not fucking once messaged him? Because if that is the case, I once again want to fight the MC. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why are we responding to his texts? Yano shouted, sounded a bit upset. Well, yeah, I'd be upset if I sent you a cute little text message and you didn't fucking respond to me. Like, what the fuck? Respond to me. Oh my god. I asked him what the use of texting was when we see each other every day, but he was adamant. I mean, hear me out. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like getting little text messages, even if it's not like, if, even if we're in the same fucking house, even if I am not here, I like getting text messages because it's cute. It's adorable. I like getting those. But like, <laughs> she's like, I don't understand. Then again, she she's new to technology. So maybe, maybe it's that. I don't know. He said it made him feel better or something. <laughs> yeah, you know, or something. I don't fucking know. We're at a side. Mint eye. Ah, yes, mint eye. The classic. Hello. Anyway. Thanks, Juice. <laughs> Juice sent me a little text. <laughs> and it just said, here's a little text. It's true. God damn it. He grew, but sometimes he still feels like a little kid. I mean, he kind of is, my guy. Sometimes my heart beats fast at seeing Yanho grow so tall. Is he actually physically growing? Am I getting butterflies? 
Girl, do you still have unresolved feelings that you have not come to terms with for this man? After he said, I love you to you? Alright. Do do dolls grow? I mean, fucking butterflies or this shit? The fuck is this? Do dolls grow? I mean, I, I mean he's a human, technically. So hmm. Dumb. Well, I guess since you're a human now, you, you grow. I don't fucking know. It felt like such a long time ago when the dolls became human. It's been about three months. Three. Anyway, we still don't know why they suddenly came to life. And we probably won't know till the end of the game. Anyway, we might never know. Okay, we're gonna find out. Don't play these games. But I decided one day to just focus on the present. What's important is that we're happy in this moment right now. So let's have a good day again. What are we doing? Guys, good morning. Hi, Tay. If these boys turn back into adults, I'm going to be so upset. I think they're going to turn back into my memories, if that makes any sense. Because, what? so let me explain. That does not make sense. Let me, let me explain. So after the first route for Lance, when you go back to the main menu, or not the main menu, if you start a new game, it'll uh, show you a heart. And initially the heart was empty. And then after the first route with Lance, the heart got another piece inside of it. So once we finish filling up the heart, ideally it'll give us back our full memories. However, I wonder if the boys are going to disappear after that. <laughs> so I wonder, are they gonna become our memories or ideally they were just here to provoke me to get my memories back. And then now that, they're, that we're done with them, that they're gone forever, because that's gonna be really upsetting. Because ideally I think we're gonna end up uh, going towards somebody else who we do not know. That's worse. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is worse if they were to just disappear. But I also feel like that could definitely happen. That could definitely happen. <laughs> In this game, anything's possible. <laughs> Hello, Yonho. Rude, Lance. Is that something to be impressed about? <laughs> But yeah, I definitely think something bad's gonna happen to these boys. Cause like even for one of the bad route endings for Lance, like he dies in one of the bad endings. Like he like his heart is ripped out of his body and then he just is like a mannequin. <laughs> and it's weird. But yeah, he just dies because he no longer served a purpose, so he no longer needed to be here, and so he just ceased to exist. Which is so much worse. <laughs> um, jeez. <laughs> My guy, that is barely a compliment. What is the special menu? Special menu? <laughs> what? Wow, huh? But where's red? Oh, that sounds like red, actually. Yeah, that, that sounds right. You guys are still role-playing. Tay definitely knows something. What do you mean by he's betting everything on his name? What the fuck does that mean? I'm glad Yano caught on to that, because what are you talking about, Tay? What? <laughs> the bet might be off. He's betting everything on his name, but the bet might be off. What is the bet? What What are you alluding to, my guy? But Yano, you look good these days. I don't understand. Okay. Boy, am I confused. Okay. Yeah, he did. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> ah, yes, he was more, he was less than a man before this. I can't take you seriously with the face mask on, my guy. Don't don't talk to me before you take that off. Yuri approached the table with his facial mask again. When will you run out of those things? They're very cheap and easy to find, honestly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
a well that never dries up. I swear. Yuri, if you say something really fucking creepy, I'm going to lose it. Yep, yep. Also, you, you weren't here for it earlier, but Yuri... Huh? <laughs> but uh, but Yuri made a comment where he was like, "You're so cute. I could just kidnap you if in, if nobody else was here." That that's something normal people say to anybody. <laughs> what what a normal thing to say to somebody you pass by in the hallway. You're like, "Oh yeah, you're so cute. I could just kidnap you." The I fuck are you on about? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh God. Yuri, don't say nothing weird, please. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> he told this man to sit down. Yano skillfully cut in Yuri's words and pulled out a seat for him. I swear to G, if it's just fucking eggs, I'm going to lose it. He distracted you, my guy. Steaming plates filled the table. Can I eat this much for breakfast? Wow, Yano, did you make this by yourself? It makes sense. I would like to see what food we're eating, but you know, whatever. Wow, it's amazing. What are we eating? Okay, Lance. Library? Oh yeah, exams. Man, exams. Ah, 그러고 보니 저도 오늘은 공부하려고 했어요. It hasn't even been that long since the festival, and it's already exams. Uh, the world should have come to an end, as the Mayans predicted. I forgot this game was in 2012. Hmm. Uh, no, not that. 역시 그렇지. I feel like this line has been said before, but with a different person's name. I would have to look into that. Yonho? Hmm. I feel like Tay is pulling a 707 type of situation here. Where he, like talks about like oh yeah you chose this person this route or what have you I, I think he's pulling one of those on us because I think he did this exact same thing with Lance as well so I wonder is he gonna do the same for Yuri Yuri yeah but I, I guess I'll find out later I'll find out eventually <laughs> water splatters <laughs> we wet up Lance I love these little silly pictures <laughs> These are honestly ever since they've introduced these into like Yano's route. These are, these are my favorite things that they've done in this game. This is so cute. As Tay smirked and said that, I spit out the water I was about to gulp down. <laughs> Poor Lance. Once again, like Lance is just really the butt of every joke at this point. I'm in trouble. I water splatted. The water splattered on Lance. MC is in trouble. Yes, MC is in trouble. Oh no, it, it wasn't on purpose. Sorry. I'm sorry, Lance. Lance is now going to be cold. Oh no. Lance <laughs> needs a sweater. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Give him a jacket. Lance is cold. Lance, Lance is cold. Need a Lance needs a sweater. <laughs> Lance got tissue and wiped his clothes. I glared at Tay. What was that you just said? Oh. Why did you say? Why did you say? That's Alan Cap. I like the fact that somehow Tay knows that Yanho is in love with me, but at the same time, hmm, that's weird. That's interesting. That's weird. It's weird. It's super weird. Poor Lance. Yeah, poor Lance. <laughs> what? Lance is poor. poor <laughs> no, Lance is not poor. <laughs> Yano stared at me. 
Then his face suddenly turned red and he abruptly stood up from his seat. Are we all going to study? We study him? Yanho headed to the bathroom. Huh? But we still have a lot of time. I was about to start eating, but Tay and Yuri shook their heads. Huh? I didn't know what those two were talking about. It's cause homeboy's baby and he's cute. He got all flustered. It's cause homeboy is cold. <laughs> Man's like, I'm sick of being the driver for you guys, but I also bought this limousine so I could be the driver for you guys. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what do you mean you're tired of being the driver? That's what you signed up for. Uh, Yuri left the front door first. The fr okay. Is Red gonna like run to school with a piece of mouth in his a bread red in his mouth? Yanho put a sandwich in Red's mouth since he skipped breakfast to wash. So yes. So yes. <laughs> he gets a whole sandwich though. He's late for anime school. He's late for anime school, oh no. <laughs> Yano took out <laughs> some of his busy schedule to make it for Red. He made the sandwich for him. He's like Tay, but without the smirk. That makes sense. He used to just take care of me before, but he's helping everyone these days. Good on him. Does he have a stronger maternal instinct? Strong. <laughs> you said strong. Hmm. He definitely would be school president. What? People are saying that? There were rumors going around? I didn't know. That's because you were too focused on fucking Yanho. Anyway, right. <laughs> That makes sense. Character growth. Yeah, yeah. Lance is getting that character growth. Lance didn't answer. Just got in the car. Also, he could have just eaten the sandwich in the car. Wait, why wouldn't he be- why wouldn't I be okay with that? You know, honestly, he did say that earlier. He was like, I'm definitely gonna take the bus with her. I met Yanho. Oh yeah, Yanho is definitely having some character growth. My god, you don't remember- is everybody suffering from memory loss in this game? Okay. Now he remembers. <laughs> that was a weird sound. It just sounds like he just punched him. Red <laughs> yellow Everyone be careful. Mm-hmm, Tay. Mm-hmm. Bye, Red. <laughs> the morning is always so hectic. Master, But isn't it more of a hassle to be in the limousine than it is to be on the bus? I like going to school with you every day. Do you not like going with me? Haha, <laughs> that so. The bus is hell, but if I'm not with you, it feels like an adventure. Should we get going too? There's a white screen again. Oh, thank god. It's lunch already. Good. Will I be able to survive the bread war in the cafeteria today? You know I won't. I went to the cafeteria with Yanho. A couple days ago, I told Yanho I wanted to eat lunch with him by ourselves. But I realized something the moment I thought to ask him. I pretended not to care, but all the time I felt a bit jealous towards the other girls. Yanho said of course he'd love to and smiled. 
So now the way to the cafeteria feels like our own little date. We're actually quite a mushy couple. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I swear to you, five to ten minutes ago, she was just like, oh yeah, I don't know if I have feelings for Yanho. I don't know if I love him or whatever. MC just kind of sucks. God damn it, what is happening with this MC? <laughs> like, is she just inconsistent because she's written to be the inconsistent? Or is she inconsistent because they just forgot what her motivation was? <laughs> like, is she... Are they just losing her as a character? <laughs> because what is happening? Because now she's saying that they're a couple, and I'm just like, did you ever say yes to this man? Because I don't think you did. You kissed, but that doesn't mean that you said yes to him to being girlfriend and boyfriend. Y yeah, didn't say shit to each other. God damn it. I mean, technically, I guess they did. I don't fucking know. I was suddenly aware of Yanho walking beside me. Jeez. We walked slowly while chatting, so the cafeteria was already packed when we arrived. We started to choose our lunch far away from the cafeteria door. Oh, will you? Hmm, what should I get? There aren't that many options to choose from in the cafeteria. But still, I have a hard time choosing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I always end up choosing what I always eat. So you're just choosing the same thing every time. Alright, cool. Yo, that girl's gonna confess. She's gonna confess her feelings. Huh? I was wondering about what to eat when I heard someone calling Yanho from behind. Yanho and I turned around at the same time. A red-faced girl was standing there hesitating. Yanho looked at me awkwardly. Oh, I'm fine. She has something to say. It might be urgent, so go ahead. She's confessing, you dumbass. I guess so. All right, now you let your man go away, I guess. Isn't she in line? All right, all right, take your time. Yangho nagged and followed the girl. But what was that? Does she need? <laughs> wait, does she need him to help her with something? I don't think I've seen her before. Ah. Uh, okay, so we are a thing. So we are together. But why earlier she was just like, I may not know if I like this man. I, I may not. I mean, she was like, I know I like him, but do I love him? Like, am I, are we in a relationship? What the fuck is happening? This is weirdly inconsistent. This is John Ho's heartbreaker arc? Yeah, pretty much. Ah, Soy, you scared me. I was trying to remember if I had seen that girl before when Soy suddenly appeared. Soy really has a knack of creeping up to people. I thought it said creeping people out. Moving on. Didn't you say you're on a diet and never coming to the cafeteria? Did you give up on your diet already? So you're just in the cafeteria for funsies? But Soy has pastries and a coke in her hands. I, I feel that girl. I feel that. Soy knows. Yeah, she knows. What kind of diet is that? She took like a small bite out of it. So I handed me her Coke can. Diet Coke. Who wants that? Diet Coke is not good for your body. You should not drink Diet Coke at all. Coke Zero is slightly better, but Diet Coke ain't it, Chief. The stream, brought to you by Coke Zero. <laughs> stream is not sponsored by Coke Zero. Me. <laughs> yeah. So I must really think she can lose weight by drinking Diet Coke. Mm, don't do that. This is a terrible decision. Also, they actually put Diet Coke in the game. Like, the, the brand name. That's weird. For Because for Mystic Messenger, they had to hide all the brand names. <laughs> because, like, that's why Dr. Pepper is, like, PhD Pepper. And, like, the Honey Booter Chips are Honey Butter Chips. Like, what the fuck? Why in this game they can't- they don't have to hide it? That's weird. Maybe this is before that was like a thing. Maybe not. I don't know. That is weird. Oh, feels bad, man. Oh no. Uh, if that's true, no woman in this world would have to cry and stop eating fried chicken. I feel that. Are you drinking low-fat milk? Shinbi sipped the milk straw with her expressionless face. Well, you don't need a diet. I mean, she doesn't need a diet either. 
What? 자건 아무리 봐도 그거잖아. 예전부터 당신을 사모해 왔습니다. 나와 함께. What a weird way of putting that. So I held onto the coke can with both, both her hands and acted out a mushy scene. Rainbow Bridge. You're saying that a girl has a crush on Yanho? No way. Is she blind? Bullshit. Is she blind? Absolutely bl delusional even. Is she okay? Stupid. She dumb as hell. All right. I hate her. Ha, gay. <laughs> uh, they probably had to hide the branding after this game. That would make more sense because they probably cracked out a lot with the um, copyrights and such. I couldn't believe what Soy said. He was popular, but it wasn't because he was, wait, I didn't read that. He was popular, but it was because he was cute. Not anything like a crush. So people don't actually have legitimate feelings for Yanho at all. They only like him because he's cute. They don't like him beyond that though. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> What do they call him? What do people call him? Y'all call him Phoenix? What? <laughs> oh, I see. It makes sense. It's because he's doing better mentally and whatnot. And so people are starting to have feelings for him because they're like, oh yeah, we can see that he's doing better now. And therefore we have feelings for him now, but romantic feelings. <laughs> the phoenix do not refer to him by that he's cute and mature i was surprised a girl and a gamer <laughs> exactly i had no clue i don't understand how she just doesn't know anything like she goes to school here she don't know shit <laughs> she ain't never learn so John who never mentioned anything like that to me think he knows <laughs> what makes you think he knows these things these days we're always together at the academy but i've never seen girls ask him out because he's with you why would they <laughs> like when would they have an opportunity <laughs> oh come to think of it on our way to school or during recess he used to go away for a while i wonder if it's because people are like confessing girl gone gamer <laughs> exactly. I thought he went to the bathroom, but it was because of something like that? He's been getting confessed to? That's crazy. Soy, your friend is stupid. I just need you to know that. She's really dumb. She don't know shit. He'll be fucking awful and just crush her feelings. It's okay. She'll be fine. What? C crush? Yanho can say something that crushes someone's heart? Like, something along the lines of, Yeah, I don't like you. So leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> With that face? Honestly, I, I can believe it. Because he also has like a Yandere sign to him to some degree. So, I, I can believe it. No, no way. At that moment, I remembered what people called him when he was in his most nervous state. The second ice prince. Yeah, there was a time like that. What is he saying? Really? Oh. That's interesting. Make him? What does he say? Besides, even if I knew, I would never make him do something like that. So I clutched her coke can and again and impersonated Yanho's voice. It's really cheesy, but very cute. Heartbreaker arc. Gotta have the heartbreaker arc. I immediately lost my words. A woman he wants to protect forever. Uh, that's probably, probably. My guy, if you say anybody else, I swear to fucking G, we are moving on. Uh, I clutched my head. My face was so heated I couldn't raise it. Yanho came back just in time and looked confused at us. 
Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry, Phoenix! <laughs> we just told her the truth she didn't know before. What a sentence. See, he doesn't know. <laughs> he has no idea. I heard Yano's voice, but I couldn't raise my head. I'm a bit strange right now. Wh what do you mean you're a bit... Mm, okay. What do you mean you're a bit? No, no, a bit strange. You're a bit. But this is, and this is all Yanho's fault. Yes, this is all because of you, she says internally. My heart's beating this fast and not being able to raise my head. Everything's your fault. No, it's not. This is, I couldn't say anything to Yanho who was asking me if I was sick. I'm sorry, Yanho. I think I've gotten strange. <laughs> I stay frozen like that for a long time, unable to raise my head. Has she really not come to terms with her having feelings for Yanho? Is that what this is? Because otherwise, this doesn't make any sense. Because, <laughs> deadass, are they in a whole ass relationship? And she just doesn't know it. <laughs> Please tell me that's the case. We're at Bound Jewel. How did we get here? After class, we headed to Bound Jewel because soy wanted cake. Fair. <laughs> Oh my god, MC is dense. Man said to her face, I love you. I want to be your boyfriend. And she's like, we're good friends. <laughs> I can't. Oh no. Please don't tell me that's what's happening here. Why? Why? Oh my god. We kissed him. Yeah, we kissed him. Oh my god. He kissed me. Like, real talk. They had a kiss. He literally said, I loved you. He asked you to be, like, to, to be your boyfriend. Like, what more do you need? <laughs> like, I understand not understanding your feelings because that, that can't happen. But, like, my guy, you're kind of in a relationship with this man? Like, literally? <laughs> Like, literally, literally, like you were in a relationship and she's just like, I, I just, I, I don't know if we're in, a, we're serious or not. Like, what are you on about? What is wrong with you? <laughs> he gets you straight up lips to lips. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God. So I smiled brightly at Tay. Uh-huh. Tay gave her his business smile. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. Once again, Yanho also does not know shit about what's going on. Because he's just like, I'm popular? Like, what? Yup. Can't believe it. Girl, why are you bringing this up? He's like a dad. Anyway. I feel like I'm marrying off my son. Yeah, usually. <clears throat> what do you have to show to us? Soy suddenly laid down her cup of tea, mm -hmm, her teacup, and took out a piece of paper from her bag. The paper in her hand was covered in rainbow colors. A pamphlet for an amusement park? Ah, oh, we're going back to the amusement park soon. He's like Omi, but Yandere. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's giving the vibe. He's giving the vibe, isn't it? It's weird that he's giving the Yandere vibes. I don't know exactly why he's giving them, but it, it it's really giving it. Because I thought that Yanho was going to be the Yandere, and he may still be. There's no telling. Amusement park art. No, it's just going to be us going back to the amusement park and probably riding the freaking merry-go-round again or some shit. Because we didn't get to really ride it. Or ride anything else while we were there. Oh. They're having a parade this time. We didn't have a parade last time for Lance. Once again, Lance did not do well. <laughs> what happened for Lance? I saw the fancy pamphlet and remembered the name the last time I went to the amusement park. Oh, okay. I want to see it too. Sure. Huh? 
여기요. 방금 보고 싶다고 하셨잖아요. 우리 같이 가요. Let's go on a date. Oh, um. 이번에도 또 회전 목마 타요. 음, 이번에는 마차를 탈까요? 그럼 같이 탈수 있을 텐데. The carriage one doesn't go up and down though. I like the ones that go up and down. You know, I gotta, I gotta have the horses or the unicorns or whatever other ones go up and down. The, the, the carriages are boring. You just ride around in a circle. Not as fun. My own personal preference. <laughs> Yano smiled and looked at me. Asking me out on a date when everyone's here? It's almost as if you're in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fight her. I understand that she's embarrassed, but like my guy, you've been dating probably for weeks. She's so curious about our relationship. Oh, she's she's talking about us. <laughs> so Soy, your eyes are making me uncomfortable. Yeah, they really are. So I took away her gaze and smiled. Okay, great, good, thanks for that. What do you mean, Soy? Yogyo, Pangan cake, Hana Tojuseo. Grigo, Hana, and Pojang Oh, you mean you want me to play for these cakes, huh? After Soy finished, Shinbi rattled on orders. They are quite precise about things like this. Was it because something good happened? I didn't feel bad about, sorry, that bad about having to pay for everything. So we sat in the cafe for about an hour, just chatting away. All right, end of this chapter. Where are we? I don't know. Where does nobody here? Christmas with Yanho. This should be the finale, I think. Am I right? Let me check. Is Christmas with Yanho? No. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? It says. So the next chapter should be Grown Chick is one of the chapters, and then the next one says Merry Christmas. I, I think Grown Chick must have been the chapter I was just on, but it didn't say anything, so I guess... I don't fucking know. So I guess we're on Merry Christmas is the chapter that it says here. But whatever. Who cares? Anyway. Whew. Ah, look at the time. I should go to bed if I want to wake up early tomorrow. Do we have a diary entry? Uh, let's see. Oh, we're, we're on 1218. Uh, let's see. I could in my right diary these last couple of days because I didn't know how to put my... To put all these emotions into words. He meant it when he says he wants me to go to the amusement park with me, right? He meant it when he said he wants to go to the amusement park, right? <laughs> Who is she getting confirmation from herself? Uh, he, wouldn't, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't joke about that, would he? he would, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he knows how seriously I take the Mia amusement park. The amusement park. <laughs> I thought he was pretty bold to ask me in such a straightforward way. My heart jumped a bit. But do you have feelings for <laughs> I swear. She still is just like, I'm being so weird. Why am why is my heart beating faster? <laughs> Girl, what is wrong with you? Yano's cooking has gotten so good. When I told him the food was delicious, Yanho told me to kiss him on the cheek. My face turned br burning red and I got rice caught in my throat. Yanho doesn't text, text at all these days. That is a concern. You're in a relationship. He told me he likes talking to me face to face more. Okay, that's fair. Ugh, I can I can feel my face heating up even writing this. Vacation. I, 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 know, I, I know, right? Vacation. My, I said my, I said my farewell, farewells to Soy and Shinbi. Shinb. It's not even Shinbi, it's Shimbed. <laughs> they forgot the I. Will we be in the same class as sophomores too? I hope I'm in the same class with Yanho. Because I want Yanho by my side. <laughs> Yanho gave me something on our way home. It was tickets to the amusement park on, our, on Christmas Day. Did, where did he get the tickets from? Did he still have money? Well, he must really want to go to the amusement park. Yeah, <laughs> I asked him where he got them from, but he just smiled. That's concerning. He got them from, what? He must still remember asking me to go. Wait, it's next week. What? Christmas is next week? Can you believe that, you guys? <laughs> just like real life. <sighs> All right, cool. I sat on the desk and looked at the clock. It was already late. Is that 
There's no clock on that desk, you liar! I closed my diary and lied down on my bed. The special event at the amusement park Soy talked about at the cafe was tomorrow. <laughs> he asked Yuri to give him money. Probably. But, like, he also worked to get the other money, so maybe he also worked? I don't know. You haven't had your <laughs> kiss again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have not had the kiss yet. God. All right. Did you say nye? What is a nye kiss? What is a nye? I was reading, I read it as nye as well. It's not a nye. What is a nye? Ah, oh, New Year's Eve kiss. You haven't had your New Year's kiss? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had your New Year's kiss? <laughs> I understand now. Also, I, I kind of read it as New Year's Eve in my head, but I said it as new. <laughs> you haven't had your New Year's kiss? My New kiss. What's wrong with you? I have my new kiss. Uh, after asking me to go with him, what are you on about? You asked him, well, I guess you, no, whatever, who cares. Yano brought two tickets. I heard those Christmas tickets were really hard to get. I wonder how he got them. I asked him where he got them from, but Yano just silently smiled. <laughs> new Year's Eve kiss. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get a nye kiss. <laughs> what about my nye kiss? No nye kiss. I felt excited rather than worried at what he said because I'm not worried about where he got these tickets from or where he got the money from. All I want, all I care about is the fucking like all amusement I care park. About is fuck. <laughs> all I care about is the amusement park. <laughs> going to the amusement park during Christmas, I'm so happy. This is my second time going to the amusement park with Yanho. Your third time going to the amusement park. Technically, your fourth. Anyway, it feels much more different this time. My heart beats happily. This is her heart with a smiley face on it. <laughs> it becomes a habit now to get red faced by myself in my room. I put both my hands on my cheeks. I felt. I feel the heat. I don't think I'll be able to sleep today from all this excitement. And then she goes to sleep anyway. <laughs> I wasn't expecting somebody to talk to me, but okay. Merry-go-round never stops. Never. Okay. Okay, nameless or whoever the fuck you are at this point. The next day, or I guess a few days later. Oh, Max. The amusement The amusement park was on on Christmas was full of couples. Yo, snow. We got snow. We got atmosphere. Look at this atmosphere. There's snow. Okay, do we have anything else? After that? Okay, this is the last one. Tomorrow, I will finally be able to, to spend Christmas with Yanho. An amusement park, so romantic. I pray I get to make a lot of memor fun memories with him. And then the game abruptly ends. Man, the snow is falling all through these, like, subtitles. Anyway, the amusement park on Christmas is full of couples. Today really is a holiday for couples. Thanks for all those couples. It's just gonna be like, girl, all this, all this the fuck? This so many, so many couples here. <laughs> yeah, the fuck? Christmas is a day for couples. Christmas is a day for couples. <laughs> I thought my heart would never pound at Christmas, but here I am at what the, the amusement. <laughs> what are you on about? I'm glad you're also in the same boat of what are you on about? <laughs> I thought I, I thought I never, I never give a shit about Christmas. Well, and she thought that she'd never, I guess, have feelings for someone during Christmas, I guess? Is she, like, Arrow? I mean, that could also be the case. She she may be a, she may be an ace baby. She's just like, this is weird. This I is weird like that this. I have feelings. <laughs> I like someone, what the fuck? Fucking stop. <laughs> My heart's beating. What is happening? But it's like a normal beating. It's not even, like, fast. <laughs> I thought my heart would never pout at Christmas, but here I am in the amusement park right now. But I'm with someone I cherish. Master, yeah, we're gonna ride that first? Because that may be the end of this game, my guy. Huh? Yeah. Also, I I kinda thought that these last two chapters were gonna be a bit longer for Yanho, but they are not. Which is weird. Because like the middle section for Yanho's route was a lot longer than Lance's, so I assumed that the ending section for Lan for Yanho's would also be longer. 
but it's the same amount or the same like cutoff, which is weird. I don't understand. Anyway, she's just too depressed on Christmas. You know, fair. She she would have been alone if she didn't have me on her. Honestly, she would have been at her house by herself. That would have been so upsetting. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I was nervous for some time. It's not because Yanho calls me master, even though we're outside. I feel like you should be nervous for that. <laughs> I feel like you should be nervous for that one, at least. Um, his voice gets drowned out in the crowd, so I don't mind. I didn't mind. Instead, I was bothered by Yanho's hand that was slight, that was tightly wrapped around mine. Why is my heart beating so fast? Does she still not understand feelings? Is she okay? Is she just ace and confused? <laughs> Because if it's just that, then I'm okay. I'm just gonna, if that's the case, I will go with that as my headcanon. If it's not that, I just want to fight her. Oh boy. Seeing my face get red, Yanho turned around. How, how did he know? How did he know my face got red? He was walking. He heard it. <laughs> he heard it? He heard it? No. <laughs> Holding hands is nothing on a day like this. What do you mean it's nothing? Yanho looked around and smiled. But I couldn't do anything about my heated face. Everyone must be couples. We're... <laughs> what do you mean everyone else must be couples? Everyone else in this, <laughs> else in this entire music project must be a couple. And then she's just like, we're a couple? I can't believe it. Penis and adult. A lot of things. <laughs> not the heinous and adult. A lot of things happened with Yanho, but we're still not officially in a relationship. What? what do you want about girl girl there's no fucking way girl. ain't ain't no fucking way you're fucking telling me that this man has confessed his love to you that he literally asked you could he be your boyfriend and kissed you on the lips and you're gonna look me dead in my eyes and tell me that you're not dating? You can fuck off with that. You are so not okay. She's like, we're not an official relationship. The fuck is an official relationship? Girl, I, mm, I thought she, I thought you were just ace and you just didn't understand things. You just didn't understand your feelings. I thought you were just, I thought that's how you were. But apparently no. No, you just think that you're not in an official relationship, even though you are definitely in a fucking relationship. What are you on about? Oh my God. <laughs> not even a little, a lot. What is, what is wrong with you? I, I don't know what more she needs. <laughs> She's like, a lot of things have happened, but we're still not officially in a relationship. Says who? Says you? Is that why? Do, do you feel like you're not in this relationship? Because dead ass, I definitely feel like you're in a relationship with this man. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. You are in a relationship with this man. I mean, he, I, was he like... What? Was he like, uh, so what are we? There was never a talk like that. But at the same time, I feel like if he asked to be your boyfriend and you never gave a response, and then on top of that... Then he was like, I love you, and you never gave a response. He kissed you, you never gave a response. There's something wrong with her. Yeah, no, like, that's not technically that like, she's right. They're not, they're, they haven't established that they're in a relationship. But she kind but, of But isn't that, really isn't that on her, though? Much. Isn't that on her? Yeah. It's, it's on her ass. Like, yeah. literally, the ball's in your court. You know you like this man, and you have not acknowledged that you want to be in a relationship with him. Despite also acknowledging that you do, you are not making sense. <laughs> She's like, I and like him. Not, and now I'm not making snacks. <laughs> it's like, oh, I like him, but I don't really want to be in a relationship with him. W but you said you did. You said you, you oh my God. I'm going to move on before I get more angry. I know how Yanho feels, but it's important that we officially acknowledge that we have the same feelings for each other. So are you going to? Today? My head was cluttered because of that. Is that why you're you're stupid? Because you're you haven't acknowledged those feelings and and you want to today? Is that why? Oh my god, my head is hurting. Huh? Oh, okay. It sure is, Yanho. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. 
Chrysler even. A special day? Oh, since it's Christmas? But what if like Christmas is her birthday? Anyway, here, let's go. It's the merry-go-round, which Yo. is super fucking cryptic. Yo, if Christmas is a birthday, you know what that means? What? She's Jesus. She's, she's Jesus. Ah, uh, yes. If you were born on Christmas Day, it means that you too that, are that, Jesus. That's what that means. No. <laughs> Bun's getting upset. Bun's very upset. Bun is a little angry. I see. <laughs> Happy Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Y'all now drag me through the line. Mm, I don't see it. Anyway, he looked excited. Well, if Yanho feels good, then so should I. We. Were you not feeling good? We approached the spinning merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, the merry-go-round wasn't as packed as the other rides because nobody wants to fucking ride the merry-go-round. <laughs> I'm kidding. <clears throat> I just trip and fall. Oh, okay, thanks. I held onto his hand and got on, t on the ride. There's no carriage here. Yano dragged me to where the carriage is. There's no carriage here. You lied. You lie? <laughs> the carriage was wider than I expected. Where? There it is. That's the carriage. You see all those horses? That's not a carriage. That's a horse. <laughs> They're pulling the carriage. You can't see it. It's invisible. <laughs> it's a very big carriage. It's, it's invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> the horses are... Uh... The horses are charging up anything to bring it They're, they're charging up the carriage yeah. as, it, as it spins away into the sky. Yeah. <laughs> you you should have got on. <laughs> you had your chance. But since we were kids, it was a bit small for two people to sit together. I feel like those, the carriages that are like the flat ones, or the, the ones that are like on the ground, are for like moms to sit with their babies. So that the baby could be on the carousel with the mom. So like... It should fit two people. Anyway, no matter how we sat, we, we, we stuck to each other. It's almost like we were by each other's sides. Anyway, of course, no one will pay attention to us, but I still felt Im a bit embarrassed. I feel like a princess. Yanho sat next to me. The ride soon started to move, and the carriage became bouncy. Oh, he called me princess. <laughs> okay. Yanho pretended to be the coachman. I felt like my heart throbbed along with the bouncy carriage. We didn't stop laughing when the merry-go-round spun and spun. Yanho, thank you for taking me here today. Mm-hmm. Yanho and I smiled at each other. Both our cheeks are red. I don't think it's just because of the cold. I wonder why I wonder why our cheeks are red anyway I awkwardly pretended to look outside the carriage I saw a lot of people especially couples oh my fucking shut up just stop talking please I can't handle the stupidity today anyways um where were all those couples before there's so many now what 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 are you on about you said at the beginning of this that there were so many couples around. Like, they're all over the place. Wh what the fuck? And then a few minutes later, she's like, there's nobody here. And then seconds later, get on the merry-go-round. And then immediately she's like, there's so many couples. What is wrong with you? Dense. Yeah, I don't think this is dense. I think this is just stupidity. Is she okay? Is she mentally there? Is she all right? I don't think she's okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> That'd be kind of cute. They became couples on Christmas. That would also be really complicated, but you know. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of romantic to start a relationship on Christmas Day. It's almost like she should start her relationship on Christmas Day. Y you feel me? God, is she actually going to? Because if she's not, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> oh, God. We would? We would? What? What do we would look like a couple too. Yeah, yeah, we would. But that may not happen today. <laughs> we would. Oh, I was surprised that Yano said something I was thinking about for a while. Well, then just fucking say it, please. 
to other people, we would definitely look like a couple. <laughs> wow, I can't believe. Uh, wow. <laughs> They're a couple, oh my god. Can you believe that? They came here together and everything. Anyway, I felt more embarrassed to think that. I looked out the carriage to hide my red cheeks. Uh -oh. you know you can, can hear that. <laughs> the blushing. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like his heat seeking goggles on. <laughs> he doesn't need them though because he can hear it. Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. You're so right. <laughs> you did say he could hear it. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> the place of Master's Rivers. Okay. Even her past. This felt much more different than when we first got to, on the merry-go-round. Yeah, it's going a little bit longer than the first time. Anyway, did we get hit on the head? <laughs> did we get our head hit on the merry-go-round? You know, honestly, we got a bonk in the noggin. I, I feel like that's definitely explains this. Ah, ah. At that moment, Yanho's hand touched mine. The carriage stopped. Wait, when Yanho when Yanho grabbed my hand, the, the carriage stopped entirely. <laughs> the carriage stopped when he was about to say something. Uh, should we go out now? Yeah, sure. My guy. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yanho held my hand and escorted me out of the out to the carriage. Out to the carriage. I feel like we've had this conversation already. Yeah, it does. When Yano asked, I nodded. Yeah, it's repainted so it looks fancier, but it's the same. When I was riding the merry-go-round, my grandpa waved at me. Can you believe that shit? Grandpa waved at me? That was crazy. He waved at me. I remember the coat he was wearing then. Grandpa protected me so I didn't feel lonely. Yano held my hand. I thought he was going to be like, someday I want to meet your grandpa. I'd be like, Yano, I'm so concerned for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, same. He'll definitely like you. Yo, he's gonna ask for permission. Permission? <laughs> Fizzy, no. Yano wants to be our grandpa. No! <laughs> Yano wants to be our husband or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said he needs to get permission to make him to make us his or whatever. I love the energy of a real adult. What the fuck is a real adult? Anyway, I look the fake, not one of the fake adults. I looked at Yanho with my red cheeks. How, I, I usually, you're supposed to look with your <laughs> eyes. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at him with the cheeks specifically. <laughs> she looked at him with the eyes. <laughs> God, I hate how this game is worded. Like, I need to. I want to take this scene seriously because it's it's supposed to be super romantic. But I'm, God, I'm just this is stupid. I manifest eyes on my red cheeks <laughs> to, with which to peer at Yanho. Only to look at Yanho. <laughs> oh my God. But since your grandpa is in a better place and your parents are overseas, I just need your permission to be your boyfriend. Yes, Yanho. Um, sir, I'm not a thing, but you know, you're close. I'm I'm glad for you, buddy. Oh my God, it's an Adonis event in Ensemble Stars. I need the card. Play for that boy. Get that boy. Uh, when I think of you, okay. He doesn't want to give up that happiness. Okay. He'll cherish me. Good. I'm glad. He'll make us happy. The game should have mercy on me for the Kato card? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Damn you. <laughs> Some of the stars. <laughs> Fair. He'll only look at us. I feel like this is a lot more romantic than Lance's, but you know, 
Lance's was not as insane as th this one is, so here we fucking go again. Uh. Oh. Feathers, again. Huh. I think the feathers are also tied to our memories, because the feathers are also in our journal and also somewhere else. I can't remember. Aww. And the ending song, which we can't hear anymore because of copyright. Yay! We love the ending song, but we can't hear it. Woo! <laughs> and we get to see a montage of Yanho's best scenes, I guess. I don't remember much of the art for this. Aww. It's just him looking really sad. He looks so sad. Yeah, see, there's Nameless again. So Nameless is a character. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for anything else in here. <laughs> I'm looking for secrets. Okay, I'm not seeing any other secrets. Why was Nameless the first person? Okay, I'm not seeing any other secrets. Wizard? There's a wizard in this game? Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't notice Witter's Wizard the first time. <laughs> Motherfucking Wizard! <laughs> Wait, that's interesting. In the first game for Dandelion, there's also a wizard, and he's evil! <laughs> oh. Designed by Chariots and Crobodile. Is Crobodile a company? Like an actual company? Like dead ass? An actual company? Because I, I kind of want to look that up. I, I, I just need to know. But I also don't know if that's going to give me a spoiler or not. Juice, look it up for me. No. <laughs> Juice said no to me. Peel your own orange. Fucking look up Crobodile for me. What is even that? It's the, it's the company name that is in this game. And it's the company that made the dolls. Principles is the wizard. You know, honestly, I've, I, I feel that. I feel that so much. I think the principal is the wizard. A hundred percent. The principal is definitely the wizard. Absolutely. That is my headcanon at this point. They sell dolls. So it's a company? It's actually like a, a legitimate company that sells dolls? Yeah. Oh, that makes a lot more sense as to why they would partner with them for this game. So like Crobodile is actually a company that sells dolls. That's actually pretty cool. What a, what a cool little collaboration. Right. What? Oh, Lance is there? Yeah. Nice. Probably all the boys are there, because they were probably all Soy. created by the Crobodal. And Soy. And so Oh, Soy's there too? Oh, that's cool. I wonder if they're like physical dolls that you can buy. And Tay. Huh. That's actually really cool. Wait, what? Banjul also gets a credit. Banjul is actually a place? <laughs> Ain't no way. Oh, there's F credits. I forgot about that. Might be. Hold on. These are expensive. How expensive are we talking? The Lance doll is five hundred dollars, which makes sense because they, they she did say they were expensive in game as well. That makes a lot of sense. Is that a T-shirt for a doll? Yeah, yeah. T I mean, you gotta dress your dolls. Yeah, you gotta have a T-shirt for your do your doll. You gotta buy them clothing. The dolls do exist. They are real in real life right now. Hmm. Like I've seen them. Banjo also gets a credit. That's get a interesting. Over, you can get a frog raincoat for your doll. You can get a frog raincoat for your doll. That's so cute. How much is this? You just want this in general? Yeah. Yeah. You mean in real life? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. A frog raincoat would be really cute. I might just buy this. <laughs> for yourself? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Wait, is it an actual raincoat? No. Aww. I mean, maybe, but it's doll size. Oh, it's doll size. That that makes more sense. You'd probably be able to find a fr frog raincoat. Somebody made one, probably. Yeah, I found one right here. Oh, good. It's right there. Nice. What's this? Interesting. Okay. After we rode the merry-go-round, we went to the bench we sat on before. It was a mess when we first came here. I smiled at remembering that, but I decided not to tell Yanho. Remember that one time you got really sick after going on that ride? That was funny. <laughs> it mustn't be a good memory to him. 
how much you want to bet that either A, I'm going to meet somebody, or B, Yano's going to disappear. <laughs> it's going to be one of the two. Because at the end of Lance's... Dude, Yano can't disappear. He's always by your side. I mean, he's going to go get drinks. He's leaving my side right now as we speak. No. Yeah, he's leaving no. me. I'm alone. No. <laughs> Nobody by my side. <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. So these are all based off of real places. I kind of like that. Or real things, essentially. What'd you do with the pretzels? Pretzels? Yeah. I didn't know we had pretzels. I gave you pretzels and bagels. Oh, they're on. They're in one of the bags on the counter. Uh, alright. I'll go with you. So I, I think that I think that Yanho's gonna disappear. Because I think in the other one, for Lance, we disappeared. So I think this one is going to be Yanho disappearing and probably Nameless coming to talk to us, maybe? Alright. Is their name Nameless? Their name is Nameless and there's a man named Wizard. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Okay, I won't go on ahead. Okay. Bye, Yanho. We may never see you again. Yanho ran off. Unlike before, he looked reliable. <laughs> so upsetting, actually. I see that him worrying about me still hasn't changed. I couldn't stop smiling and enjoying being loved. Ah, I do feel embarrassed, but I'm happy. Yanho, hurry up. There are so many things I want to tell you. Why to scream when Black White does? We disappeared again. That's weird. Okay, so we actually did disappear again this time. Did you wait long? Huh? Where is she? So where are we? Where did we go? The merry-go-round would not stop. So like... Is this like a... Metaphor? It could be, I guess. Because, like, if each of the boys is, like, one of the horses on the merry-go-round, we, like, ride on one of the boys, we take one of the, we do one of their routes, and then we move on to the next person. Is that what they're trying to suggest here? I don't fucking know. Oh, he's talking to me. I don't like that. I have Yonho's diary now. Okay. Is that it? The end. What a happy ending, right? What an unsettling thing. All right. He also said he missed me. That's weird. All right. I think it's in the... Oh, wait, no. I do want to see the album, though. Wait, do we get... Yeah, we get endings. Or pictures for those. Oh! Oh! What is this? I missed a picture. Is this for a bad ending? Hmm. Oh, there's also more pictures for each boy. Each boy gets more pictures than the last? Deadass? Oh, that's crazy. That's a little wacky. I don't like that, actually. It's kind of unfair. All right. Wait, is this not where I was? Oh, memories. Okay. Ah, bad endings. Okay, yeah. Grown Chick was that chapter. Okay. And then Merry Christmas was that chapter. Okay. Uh, but it said something different in game. God, that's so stupid. I hate that. So there's three more endings, which are the bad endings, and then so on and so forth. Bonus. Okay, now we've unlocked these two for voiceovers. That's cool. I need to go to special, because I gotta go read a journal. <laughs> I heard the soul of a bird. Aww. Birds are sitting there cooking. Birds are Oh, 
I think Yuri thinks it's cool to drive a limo. Uh, Oh, that's interesting. Oh, is it? Yano says, taste stares at whoever looks at Master. So, every single time we've been in a different route, tae has been looking at us, or not us specifically, but whoever we're with. Meaning that he's definitely jealous. Man's absolutely mad. Uh-oh. Said anything, but I instinctively can tell that Tay likes Master very much. Understandable. Huh. But I can't call Master Master the Academy. All the girls started to master Pray to the sky. I'm fine with Master liking other dolls than me, but I hope she never abandons me. Okay, so I think each of these boys has three pages. So Lance only has one so far. Shinbi has. Oops, Oh, wait, Sinbi only has one. So the boys have three each. So I unlock more of the diary entries by doing special events in the game. Okay. Ooh, okay, that gave interesting feedback. So that is, so I wasn't wrong. So Tay is definitely conscious of whoever's in love with the MC, and it seems like he's very jealous of it. What if I'm in love with the MC? I mean, yeah, you're in love with the MC then. Not much you can do, my guy. What you gonna huh. do? Huh. Okay. We've we've learned. We've experienced. I guess. This game. We love. We love. <laughs> we love. This game just likes fucking you up. It really does at this point. But wait, I I do want to see something, because I do want to know. <gasps> yes, the shards are fitting together as a heart. I wasn't wrong. Frick yeah. Okay. And and now these two are filled in as well because it was before it was just Lance. So the more times that we do the routes, it fills in these shards that are down here of this heart piece, of this heart shape, whatever the hell this is. Right. And then eventually it'll unlock the mystery person, nameless, eventually, once we get everybody else's shards. What if she has a name? I don't fucking know, man. If she has a name, she has a name. Then I don't fucking know. Or he or whoever. Oh, that's so interesting. It's interesting there's an option that says forget the name. I do wonder what this does when I click it. Oh, I don't want it. It's probably going to make me, like, absolutely delete all my save data. But that's interesting. Okay. I feel like we've learned a little bit about a lot of things, but not enough to actually get us anywhere with anything that we know about, like, what the fuck's going on in this game. And I, I need more information before I can make judgments. We also have to do Yanho's bad endings because I'm curious and I want to see if he goes full Yan today. I have to know. I have to know. Um, anyway, it's been real. <laughs> it's, it's been a stream. Uh, let me see if I can find anybody to raid. Ooh wee boy, gotta find a raid person. That's not what I want it. That's not what I want it. How do I button? What button do I press? Hello? Man, I am unsure. How do I, how do, wait, 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 no. Oh, I'm, wow, okay, they've, ch they've upgraded this. Okay, I, I thought I was going insane. Boy, I thought I was going insane. All right, so. We are going to raid uh, Miguza. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, at the very least, we did finish the route with the boy. It was absolutely insane. It, it's been honestly real because I was not expecting it. But uh, yeah, I, I'm so... <laughs> 
I, I'm so conflicted right now because I'm just I'm so unsure about everybody now. Because at first I thought I could trust some of these people, but now I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. Can I trust anybody? Doubt it. I doubt it. I can't even trust my own fucking memories. I can't even trust my own head. Anywho, it's weird. It's freaking weird. But I guess we'll get more information the next time I play. So maybe Saturday. Maybe not. No promises. <laughs> Never any promises. But yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Your parents are on Hong Kong busy right now. And if they find any Genshin merch and buy random stuff and I don't need it, do you want some? Hell yeah. If they find some, yeah, sure. Hell yeah. That's pretty cool. Your parents are in Hong Kong. Are they just visiting? I don't know if they'll find anything, but on the off chance. I mean, I've been to Hong Kong and they have like a good bit of like anime merch, but you just have to go to like certain places. <laughs> it just depends. <laughs> like certain places have a lot of it, but then other places it's, it's like a smidgen. They're visiting for a bit. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. All right, I think I'm gonna end it here, but it's been real hanging out with peoples and I am sleepy and I'm gonna go to sleep. So I hope everybody has a good night and get some sleepies. I don't know where they went. Oh no, <laughs> you don't know exactly where they went. <laughs> oh boy, and okay, yeah. I'm sorry for Z, I'm, I'm leaving you, but I, I hope you have a good night. I know you're gonna be awake forever now. <laughs> have a good night, Psyche. You should stream. Yeah, yeah, Fizzy, you should start streaming now. <laughs> Get that stream, no. <laughs> start streaming now, why don't you? And then immediately we raid you. <laughs> uh, 24 hour stream, no. Goose night, Psyche, <laughs> I wanna stream. You should stream, but I have to take a shower. Okay, that's understandable. That's fair. But okay. But I mean, if you do stream, I may or may not be awake by the time that you stream. Maybe, probably not though. <laughs> uh, 24, uh, 24 no shower stream, no. I finished my dailies. Ew, I feel that. I feel that in my soul. But yeah. I'm gonna go get some sleepies. And I gotta go do my dailies as well. 24 hour. <laughs> All right. Bye peoples. I'm sending out the raids. Here are the raids. The raids are coming. All right. Bye bye everybody. Have a good night. Good night everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.